You're listening to Boomer and the Beard, the pulse of Americana, with your beautiful bearded host, Zach Walker, Alabama's best no holes barred constitutionally conservative Christ-centered talk radio. If that don't fire you up, <laughs> then your wood's wet. Now, it's time for your bearded host, Zach Walker. Come on, here we go. Go oh, my way. Long voice. Here we go. Come on, sing it with me. No, it might be painful. No, time will always tell. No, people been long since gone, and my mother never failed. Even when the rain falls, even when the birds start rising, even when the storm comes. I am washed by the water. Welcome in this morning, Boomer and the Beard. It is the Friday morning edition. It is also a three-hour edition. We are live with you this morning all the way until 8 o'clock. I'm excited, which means you're excited. I know the guys are excited. And uh, there you go. I mean, uh, look, it's it's so treacherous outside. We needed to cancel schools all over the place. Uh, we need to shut her down. Uh, my daycare shut down. Not a big fan. I'm probably going to file a formal complaint. Can't stand it. Um, because there wasn't a wet spot anywhere on the road. I mean, I literally did not encounter the first slick spot on the road at all. And there's no bus stops for daycare. Daycare shouldn't be on the same schedule as schools. And uh, we'll, I'm sure we'll get to that. It is Friday, which means I get to rant. And maybe... Maybe that will be the topic of said rant. But for now, uh, I am not going to I'm not gonna expose you to that this early in the morning, because let's be honest. You can't handle the truth. I'm kidding. That's my best Jack Nicholson uh, impersonation. We've got the whole starting lineup here this morning. Let's get them all on the field uh, before Ronald gets in trouble on his last day with us and talks before he's introduced. Ronald, how are you, my friend? Man, that was really hard. Like, I was biting my tongue over here for the longest time. I was like, when's he going to Let me see, is it bleeding? No, no. That's that's a figure of speech. Oh, You have a lot of them. I and do. You do. You do. I and wish you, we should have. And then you throw mine out. I wish we should have. I wish we should have. I wish we should have. I wish we would have. Yes. I think that would be more grammatically appropriate. I wish we would have had you start like taking notes of like the different things I've said this week that, that you had no idea. Like, oh, I know. like worthless as tits on a boar hog. Yes. I was like, what? You said, huh? <laughs> I mean, as, he, as on a snake, uh, let's talk I about can another one. Uh, um, you want to talk about the one road you... hard and hung up wet? Yeah. Which... So I talk about that as as my body, and like, I've heard uh, that all my life. Right. Yeah. Never understood it. Well, I always thought it was a very uh, sexual connotation, which it kind of does. But you explained it has it. nothing to do. Sexually. Well, the original statement doesn't, right? And most of the time, okay. See, that's the thing. The it's way like... it's used even now isn't. So it's like. It's 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 a euphemism. I think is that a euphemism or alliteration, Connor? Which one is that? A, euf- is a euphemism? I don't think it's either one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Go back to your corner, Connor. Welcome Go in, back. Connor. How are you this morning, producer Connor? I'm doing all right. Good, buddy. I've got something to be good. We've got to talk about something here in a little while. I think you know what's coming, but we'll get to it at some point. Um, so euphemism. Or, so what is that? Is it just a... A I euphemism mean, is like, so instead of saying somebody died, you say that they um, went to a better place. When you use oh, like a pleasant sounding phrase in place of like a... Uh, negative phrase. A negative phrase. Okay. Kinda so that sounds, could kind of be... Yeah. He written sounds hard super smart when he talks. Well, that's because like, he is super smart. I don't think I was ever that smart. You're still not that smart. Well, I know, which is why people like to hear me talk sometimes because I just say stupid stuff. Yeah, you're you're just a you're just a kid. you're like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Yeah, I guess. I was guess. that a euphemism? Not really. I don't think that was more of a more a of quote, a simile, <laughs> a simile, a comparison. Oh, you know, does that come from the word similar? It could probably. See, look at that. Look at my root word knowledge right there. It's probably from the Latin Greek. You know, English is getting better for you. English is hard. Not not this morning. Not this morning. I'm on fire. Yeah. Anyways, ridden hard and hung up wet. He didn't really understand what that meant, and and that's truly about the the leather on the saddle. Being, and it makes sense. Yes, you've got to you've got to clean it up. And 
he was like, what does it even, what does that really mean? Don't you always like, I mean, but that's the thing is, I mean, you, the more you live life, the more you find out and you're like, oh, that's what that means. Like you don't, you don't, you don't have like a epiphanies every single day. See epiphany. That's a big word I brought out. <laughs> you don't have like an epiphany every day. Uh, I don't know about daily. I would, I mean, I would, I would struggle with like epiphany is a big word. Revelation is a big word. Like you think about things and discover new things on a daily basis. Maybe so. But like epiphany, revelation, those are big words, man. Hmm. Just doesn't happen for you every day. You know, keep trying. I'm not as hard as you are. I'm really not. Your muscles aren't. What? Because you're not. Never mind. Whatever. Because <laughs> you got a little, a little more flesh on you than I do. Uh huh. So surface area. That's right. That's what they call that. The phrase itself is derived from horseback riding. Um. That's the thing. I always thought it was a very inappropriate phrase. Yeah, it is not. Yeah. There's another one here that, that is another, it's another connotation of it, or not a connotation, another meaning, another origin of it. Uh, when the horse is returned to the stable before putting it back, it should be allowed to cool down mm -hmm. by walking. Even after arrival, it may need to walk around a bit more. And then the saddle should be removed and other tack, give the horse a small amount of water. And, and so that, that would be, you know, if you don't do that, the horse can suffer from muscle stiffness, chills, uh, anything from being left, left damp. Yeah. So there's another side. I mean, you could talk about the saddle leather and also the horse. horse. I mean, you've got you've got danger on both sides. So uh, let's get uh, let's get Jonah, let's get Ty, let's get Bro Montana at Master Control in here. What is going on, fellas? Morning. What's up? Counting down the hours till I'm out of Facebook jail. Oh yeah. Oh man. What happened, buddy? I you can't say nothing about Canadians. That's all I know. <laughs> 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 so for context, yesterday. Uh, we have a group text, myself, Jonah, and Ty, and you might say, well, why isn't producer Connor in that? Well, because, as you'll find out shortly, he, he just doesn't text people back anymore. And so <laughs> he, he is no longer in, you know, he's not in the group text. And so we have a little group text going on. I look at Bro Montana's sad eyes over there. He didn't realize we had a group text, and he wasn't in yeah. it. He's <laughs> bummed right now. He's literally thinking about what he's going to tell his girlfriend for why he doesn't have friends at work. But, uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> and and so he gets he sends us this picture, and it's like, your account has been suspended. You cannot comment or do anything for 24 hours. Uh oh. And so I kind of got to look in and, and seeing. Look, and so a buddy of mine posted a video of these Canadians, and they're like taking the decks off of lawnmowers and souping the motors up, and building these homemade ramps and jumping them. <laughs> and it's, the, it's the funniest thing ever. Uh, and they're all wrecking really bad. And I'm just like, dang, Canadians. Got Except it. for you didn't say dang. Well. But I don't know that it would have mattered. No. It was I it wasn't it I was just like, you know You weren't talking no, at it was like, any particular Canadians person. are crazy. Just in, yeah. Bunch of crazy Canadians. That's all you said? That was it. He really did. He sent us a picture of it. He literally just said damn Canadians. Yeah. yeah. And it, and it was and all of a sudden it so the the reason was you don't say anything derogatory about anybody from a different origin or before you know it you'll be getting origin. impeached oh goodness i'm just gonna find a random post here and say that and see if i can get kicked off real quick well i was already in trouble <laughs> there are, i already had warnings up to this point so now i'm on restriction ronald you're not conservative enough to be on their radar yet uh, that's probably true <laughs> that is probably true i'm in time out nor do you live in the the portion of the country where everyone is racist and bigoted and and dumb and trump and i bet if i said the same thing about americans I wouldn't get in no trouble. Oh, you'd be celebrated. You'd be pre yeah, they'd be, yeah. You would be celebrated. Uh, they'd give me they'd a little make, star. That's right. They'd make you a top they'd, fan. Yeah, they'd, not only that, they'd probably give you a blue official check mark. Yep. Hey, buddy, you want to come work for Facebook? We need more people like you on our team. So, you know, we're playing softball this weekend, right? And uh, one of the guys on our team, his name is Sean Campbell, and he's a good friend of mine. And he is a, he works at, when I, when I first met him, he just, he worked at Facebook is all I knew. And I was like, this guy's probably going to hate me. Like he, what like, come to find out, I mean, I thought he was like a fact checker or something. I'm like, what? So that's his nickname. I call him fact check. But um, he was 
he was like, no, dude, I, I don't even know how to use a computer. Like, he's a network guy, so he does all the he does all the actual hardware support, like making sure the servers are connected the right way mm-hmm. and doing all that. Uh, but he was telling me about their building and like their office and like they have nap pods and <laughs> they have hey, check this out. They have nap pods. They have a chef. They have a, a cook to order chef. They have literally daycare on site. They have everything. I said, do you guys have a gym? He said, no. It's like what? Huh? I thought of all things like you guys would have a place to work out for no they got oh they got a video game room Xbox PS3's uh Xbox the new Xbox the new where you can go and play so as long as you're getting your work done you can go and play with all that stuff which is pretty crazy Well that's esports right now so I mean technically they're working out right Oh yeah yeah so there you go that's right. That's get a to good point. To play a game and work out at so the same time. So if they time. had a if they had an esports uh, a video game about like CrossFit, you could literally be working out. I could. I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna Fantastic. Make that. You're listening to Boomer and the Beard. We'll be right back. Boomer and the Beard. So, what do you want to eat? I want something fast-tastic. Fast-tastic? Yes, fast yet fantastic. <laughs> Sounds uh, swift delicious. Well, then let's go. Eat more chicken with Chick-fil-A and Decatur. They have the tastes that you can't get anywhere else, from fantastic snacks and sides to the often intimidated but never duplicated original Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. Delicious and juicy boneless breast of chicken sandwich with its signature pickle slices. Mm. Now that's how a chicken sandwich should be. Always freshly prepared and backed up by award-winning My Pleasure customer service. Chick-fil-A believes in providing guests with great tasting food in a comfortable environment, making it the best restaurant experience you will get. Download the Chick-fil-A app today. Bypass the line and enjoy your Chick-fil-A even faster. Two great Chick-fil-A locations in Decatur, ready to serve you. Stop by today on Highway 31 South and on the Beltline in Decatur. You don't need a diet. That's work. You don't need a stylist. They're overrated. And you don't need to hang out with older or fatter people just to seem better in comparison either. All you need are these masters of video production. They'll make you look good. Make your videos look good with Cotton Row Productions, the official live stream provider of Hometown Heartbeat, and The Dale Jackson Show. We can handle events, church live streams, and your digital advertising. Call Cotton Row Productions today, 256-289-7355. That's 289-7355. Bye, hon. Running late. Love you. Hey, hon, you forgot your coffee. For the days you need it most, don't worry. Perk up and percolate with us. Put some love in your day with Just Love Coffee Cafe in Huntsville. From our award-winning specialty coffee to our unique and quirky menu, our customers at Just Love Coffee have found us to be a great spot for the highest quality coffee, breakfast, brunch, lunch, or dinner. You'll want to try our delicious waffles, wraps, sandwiches, and more. At Just Love Coffee, we're the place to go when you're by yourself but don't want to be alone. We're the place to go when you want to catch up with friends. We're the start and end point of your morning run. Stop by the Just Love Coffee Cafe today on Memorial Parkway Southwest in Huntsville and friend us on social media at Just Love Huntsville and brewing soon at Just Love Madison on Hughes Road across from Madison City Hall. Just Love Coffee. Eat, drink, love. It's your news now. WVNN. Depend on it. Boys to men. Welcome back to Boomer and the Beard. I am Zach Walker, your big, beautiful, bearded host. So thankful you've chosen to join us here early on this nice, crisp, 23-degree, treacherous roads out, can't drive anywhere, shut the schools down, ruin all the parents' plans, kind of a week uh, weekday. It's a Friday, by the way. Happy Friday, everyone. Is this how you want to start your day? Every day. Yeah. Is this how you want to start your day? 
every day. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Buttons are hard. So we have a we have a habit here on the show. A lot of you guys uh, that watch this show or listen to this show, which if you don't watch, you you have the you have the option to watch us um, every day. Go to boomerandbeard.com and you can click on the live stream there. You can go to the website or you can go to Facebook, go to YouTube, our YouTube channel. Um, but but for those of you that don't uh, watch or listen on a daily basis. We have some technical challenges here that we've been really working hard towards not allowing you guys to know about. Cause we got, you know, look, I know that now, you know, we're, we're fully professional radio broadcasters that don't, you know, don't, don't, don't cross that line between, you know, amateur or hobbyist or whatever. Um, but, but early on it was a bit of a challenge for us. And so, we work really hard to make sure you guys don't see some of that stuff. But uh, we've been we, when we come back from the break, there's all, only one control of some audio over here, and typically, the guys are in some kind of conversation. We're trying to chop something up there at the very end, and and there'll be four, five, six, twenty words thrown in on the live stream and on the radio that were never meant to be heard. And so I've just gotten into the habit of muting everyone in between breaks for our safety. Or you're just um, a Gestapo. Or I'm just the Gestapo, not a Gestapo. A, the. Wouldn't it be the Gestapo? I don't know. I don't know. Connor, um, let's go ahead and just pick this bone real fast while we're while we're here. I notice he's sitting down where we can't see him a little bit. Like he'll sit up, maybe we can make eye contact. He's like Wilson. Uh, hey Wilson. Um, but but uh, let uh, Connor. I, you know how much I love you, buddy. I mean, you're you're the shining example of what I want my son to be one day. And uh, I hope he grows up to be half as mature and smart as you. I mean that truly. You know that. I, I love you to death. But um, recently, there's been a concerning trend in the communication department. And uh, I just, you know, more than anything, I, I really just want to make sure, one, that you're okay. I'm just reaching out to my brother and making sure there's nothing going on and there's nothing to be worried about. Uh, and two... I'm just kind of curious what's going on. So, I mean, you, uh, you know, you, you, you're not very adept at, at communicating via text message, maybe communicating in general, but communicating via text message has become something recently that I'm just worried about you, buddy. I mean, I, I just, uh, and I'm the world's worst no text backer. I mean, I am, I'm the worst, I'm the worst at it, but, uh, you make me look like, uh, I mean, you make me look like an all-star. And I'm just curious as to what uh, what's going on. I mean, is this something that you don't do with a lot of people, or do I get special treatment? Or I mean, because you just you, you're not a you, you're not texting back very frequently, and I'm concerned about you, buddy. It's not just you. I'm just not a very good texter. Yeah. Maybe if you started Snapchatting them, <laughs> like then then it would actually work. Are you a more active Snapchatter, Connor, than you are a texter? Yeah. Oh no. See, there you go. I fixed the problem. You're welcome. You are welcome. Uh, these new kids. See, the problem with that is, here's the problem with that. I have Snapchat on my phone. I don't remember the last time I logged into it. Um, and, and I will, if I start Snapchat, and you know what? I'm going to try that, Ronald. Thank you. I feel like you've mediated the situation and helped us through a rough patch in our relationship. But <laughs> you, I will I will Snapchat you, Connor. And here's the problem. I'm going to Snapchat you and say, hey, man, we got a three-hour show tomorrow. And then I'll, I, it's not going to change anything for me because I'll still never know that he responded because I'll never go back to Snapchat until I need to say something else to him. And so what, I don't know that that helps me. Was anyway. you asking him a question or just making general No, statements? I was just I, – I, I think I, I did both. I made a statement, and then I asked him, are you okay, and is it just me? And you still <laughs> – and nothing. Did you miss that part where it, like his, his answer was literally like, <laughs> "No, it's not you. It's not it's just me. you, <laughs> Jonah. Wake up, son. Are you? I mean, hello, hello, Jonah's earphones. Hello, headphones aren't working. I was over here thinking about what Joe Biden's favorite oatmeal is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny <laughs> when he tells a joke and can't make it through the punchline before he's laughing at himself. That is so good. President Biden, what kind of oatmeal do you have today? That's, uh, there's uh, no so Connor, I mean, it, you know, you like, could we maybe, could we maybe work on when you, when you get a text from me that, that seems like it's, I mean, because typically I, I don't just text you with like just small talk. I'm not just like, Hey buddy, how was your day? I mean, I, I, I would be happy to, because I care about you and I'd like to know how your day is. So if you'd prefer to add some of that to our, to, to our relationship, to spice it up a little bit, I, I would be happy to do that. But I'm just, you know, maybe from now on, if you could maybe just like, 
give me one. And I don't know how to use them, but like, I think you like hold down on the message and then it allows you to like, give it like some confetti or like a (laughs) starburst or like a thumbs up or a, uh, a heart, you know, so, give me, give me some kind of acknowledgement that you've seen the text so that I'm not concerned about you. Do you think we make, we may could work on that? Okay. We can do that. I just don't want to buzz your phone at every time you turn around. So you buzz but, it, you buzz it, pull it out of your pocket. Like, Oh, what is this? Oh, it's just Connor. Who's, who's approving what I sent him 10 minutes ago. What? Well, but ag- approving and acknowledging are two very different things. I think people need acknowledgement in their life. Right. So like if I'm, if I'm reaching out to somebody to say, Hey, here's the plan. And then there's no acknowledgement of, yes, I see the plan, I know the plan, I'm aware of the plan. Then in my mind, I'm concerned that the plan has not been approved. It's not been signed off. It's not okay. I mean, we're not on the same page. And ultimately, Connor, I just want to make sure we're all on the same page, buddy. That's all. And, and, and Connor, if you bust my phone every hour of the day, I would just be the most joyous day of my life. (laughs) There's There's nothing better than a Connor text. Did you lose sleep last night? I did. I did. Just laid there. No, actually, he, t- he 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 acknowledged. No, no, no. That's exactly what it is. He didn't. That's right. I said three hour show tomorrow. I got nothing. So I when I, I didn't know if I'd get here today, and he'd be like, "Well, I got to go at seven. Yeah, and I'd be like, "Well, I mean, if you didn't acknowledge the plan, I could have made it. You know, arrangements." I thought you were texting me that because you had heard that school got canceled. Well, well I was you just, w- you wouldn't know because you didn't see the text. You well, he saw the text. Oh, well, that's right. He saw the text. He just didn't let me know he saw the text. Maybe he just didn't read it. He probably didn't. No, I Did saw you? it. I processed it. Yeah. And then I made the conscious decision to <laughs> let it go. go. <laughs> he said, I made a conscious decision to not text you back. Fantastic. Fantastic. Here's the funny part. Hayden exa- is exactly the opposite, right? So Hayden has texted me the a couple of times now. Uh, oh, this was funny. It was after one of his times he didn't show up on time, right? And so he, he's at two strikes. For those of you keeping keeping the count at home, he's uh, he's zero and two. But if uh, he, he texts me, and I I was slammed throughout the day, and I pulled a Connor, and I just didn't reply to him for a, a significant period of time. And what's funny is yeah, and this bummed me out, huh? I said, yeah, and this bummed me out. That yeah, didn't it did. I'm, it, I'm so trying to like, get back to it and uh, and 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 put it like show you exactly what he said here but oh yeah oh yeah yeah yeah. he sent me the john cena cell phone prank that he was talking about that morning Mm -hmm. you know when he tried to tell us a story that that nobody laughed at (laughs) (laughs) and so i was like well i was gonna send it to him he's gonna laugh about this it's hilarious yeah so he sent it to to me at 140 at 140 p.m okay and then by 525 p.m i had not yet replied like for the record connor i just want you to be want to be clear like four hours is, is, is significantly, you know, that's probably enough time. But really all I care about is like if I text you just before the day's over, some kind of acknowledgement that you've seen that, right? So this had only been a couple of hours between, yeah. and he was super nervous about it. And uh, he, he, he texted me at 5 o'clock and said, was that not funny? <laughs> and i said sorry bro i've been swamped all day and uh he said oh i'm sorry and i was like no it's okay you're not sorry you're just insecure but uh no i'm kidding it uh it it is it you know different people take i'm the worst i can't give connor that hard of a time people listening right now that know me have have had conversation have texted me and ronald I, i'm a te- I, i've not texted you back on multiple occasions yeah it makes me feel really bad oh, yeah well oh oh i just thought about this Oh, I put, about a, Joe Biden I, I, again? I put a funny meme on his page last week about super gluing his fat little lips shut to lose weight. I got nothing. Two days later. <laughs> on I just, my page? Yeah. Two days later, I just deleted it. I said, screw that guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> you are, you have again. way too much time on your hands. Dude, I did. I was, he's giving me nothing. Screw that guy. I don't, I don't I do, I don't comment up. on Facebook. I, I don't do. was showing up Monday. Or Tuesday it was. Yeah, that's right. You didn't. <laughs> yeah, I showed you. Man, that was gonna be a that was gonna be a good joke if you'd have got that punchline right. Dadgummit. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, don't feel bad, Hayden. Yeah, don't feel bad, Hayden. Connor's just rubbing off on him. Yeah, Connor's rubbing off on me, and he's just pulling a Ted Cruz, abandoning me in my time of need. See if we ever put memes on your page again. Yeah, freaking Connor. <laughs> Connor, Connor, Connor. Everything that's wrong in this world is right there in that corner. <laughs> No, Ron, Ronald. <laughs> I, love, I love it. Wow, though. that's a Ronald. You go from zero to a hundred in a hurry. He knows I'm joking. I mean, look at him. He's smiling. I like looking over at Connor, and all you can see is his eyes. But when it's, something's funny, they're squinting a little bit. And you know, he's laughing. <laughs> 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 you, 
you never really know what's going on in that corner. You just you just turn your headphones up and it's like, is he laughing? Or, and then you don't know if I've got his mic muted or not. So it's uh, it's always just a flip of the dice. Flip of the dice. Wow. Flip okay. The dice. All right. Flip those dice. Flip those it's dice. been a, it's been a long it's week. A roll Let me of tell the cards. You. Let me tell you, as a as a Friday, as Fridays go, I've not been. Now, on one hand, I'm disappointed that we're losing Ronald this week. Uh, and You're not we, losing me. I'm just going back to Northern Virginia, to a better where place. the cool where the cool people live. Going back to your goat herd. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I've completely forgotten my train of thought. My segue out of here. So you are. Why don't you, you go ahead welcome. and just since you just want to dominate the segment, why don't you just go ahead and take it a break, Ronald? No. Uh, well, guys, guys, I don't even know what to say right now because he just put me right on the spot. But he's so Friday, as far as Fridays is. go, uh, this is there this is. is this is one of the challenging ones, right? Because uh, yeah, this week's been a bit of a pisser, if you will, and uh, and 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 on the other hand, you know, we don't want to lose Ronald, and so I'm, I'm excited for a weekend, but I'm also you know sad my buddy's leaving, but. Uh, this week's been this week's taking it out of us. It's you didn't great, know you were going to have this kind of a, a adventure, did you? No, but uh, but it, it's been a great adventure. Yeah, well, it mean, has. It, it, yeah, it's. We've been slept a in a camper. One. We've uh, yeah. I mean, it, we've done lots of radio shows. We've 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 survived snow apocalypse and ice apocalypse twenty twenty one, and you've been able to admire three of the finest beards in the southeastern United States for an entire week. So when we come back, we'll dive into uh, we'll dive into some Dolly Parton news. I mean. Oh, oh, Dolly's in the news, and we need to talk about that story. Boomer and the Beard will be right back. Boomer and the Beard. This is News Talk 770 AM, 92.5 FM, WVNN. News starts now. The lights are slowly coming back on in Texas, but for hundreds of thousands in the state, the water has been a problem, especially for firefighters like Bear Bolverde Volunteer Chief Jerry Bialik. Our main concern is water supply. All these hydrants out here are dry. There's, well, they're not dry, they're just frozen, and there's no water. He was fighting an apartment fire in San Antonio. Crews had to truck in water from several blocks away. About 7 million people in Texas are under a boil water advisory. Most of Jackson, Mississippi does not have water, and officials can't say when it will be restored. This winter weather has also hindered coronavirus vaccine distribution. Appointments have been canceled or delayed in 42 states. This morning, President Biden in a virtual G7 summit will announce the release of $4 billion to a U.N.-backed program that helps poorer countries access coronavirus vaccines. Today's also the day the U.S. returns to the Paris Climate Agreement, less than four months since the official withdrawal. Brian Clark, ABC News. Four. Dan, where you been? Well, it's hard to golf with bulky oxygen tanks. So I went to AeroCare and got a lightweight portable oxygen concentrator that I wear like a backpack. Wow. Does insurance cover it? <laughs> they sure do. AeroCare called my insurance and I had my machine the next day. I'm as free as a bird or <laughs> birdie. AeroCare specializes in all respiratory equipment. If you have sleep apnea or in need of oxygen, let AeroCare set you up. Call 256-469-3900. Let us help you breathe a little easier. Got you covered. Screen printing and embroidery in Athens. Our team is here to help you with custom printed t-shirts that you want. And we know that means quality. At Got You Covered Screen Printing and Embroidery, we focus on the highest quality and the fastest turnaround time possible. Got You Covered Screen Printing and Embroidery on West Sandifer Road in Athens. Call to make an appointment with our graphic designer. She's awesome. 256-444-4500. That's 444-4500. And online at gotyoucoveredathens.com. The talk station in Alabama, WVNN, depend on it. This is Dave, and you're listening to the Boomer and the Beer. <laughs> and my dad's weird. For a dough. Come on, man. Sing it to me. Welcome back to Boomer and the Beard. I am Zach Walker, your big, beautiful, bearded host. That is Matt Prater uh, singing Southern Outdoors. One of my favorites, one of my uh, good buddies, uh, Thad Prater's brother. And Matt is, Matt's a hometown fella. He's a good dude. We're. 
look, it's cool to live in a small town where we got uh, we got a bunch of bunch of just local talent, and it's just a cool place, man. I'm just, I love Athens. Let me tell you guys about Purcell Lumber and Custom Millwork, proud partner of Boomer and the Beard. Purcell Lumber and Millwork is the number one place in Athens. It's the only place that we trust for any kind of materials for our home improvement projects or needs. It is uh, it, Benjamin Moore Paints, Dewalt Tools, doesn't matter what you need. They've got more lumber. They've got more lumber than a lumber yard. I'm telling you, they are a custom mill and uh, they have a lumber yard instead of, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, Purcell Lumber and Millwork is, uh, man, that's where we go and that's where you should go to. Lynn Purcell's a great man. He's a, a good Christian man, loves loves the Lord, loves the community of Athens and, and strives really hard to to serve them uh, in an exemplary fashion and does so very well. 501 North Clinton Street in Athens, 256-232-6320. Don't forget, folks, we've got to support businesses, small businesses that, that identify with with what we that, that, that believe what we believe. We've got to stand together for conservative Christian values, and Lynn Purcell is no different, and he's an example of that. So go, please go, and, uh, and shop with him and let him know that the beard sent you. It's important to let him know that that you heard about them here. Okay. Give them a call. Purcell Lumber and Mill Shop dot com online or two five six two three two sixty three twenty. So Dollywood. Dollywood. Oh man, I wish I would have that would have been really cool to have a song queued up there. Like a nine to five. That'd have been good. Yeah. I can sing it for you. No, please don't. <laughs> oh, it's only the Zach show. I can't sing. Zach can sing. No, there's just times when it makes sense and times when it doesn't. Okay. I mean, is that, that's not, let me try this again. Here it comes. Dolly Parton in the news today. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. Mm -hmm. I wish I could have, I probably could have done that a little bit better, huh? What if I, I mean. This really is a good song. It really is. Dolly Parton really is an exemplary lady. I mean, she. She's not without her faults or flotation devices, but she is, uh, she, you know, oh, wait, stop, 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 stop. So that would have been better right there if I would have been like. And in the news today, Dolly Parton is, uh, if I'd have just had it right there on work at 925. Hey, I got, got a long now. way to go, boys. You got it now. I got yeah. a long way to go. So here we go. Sing it up. Here we go. Nah, 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 nah. So anyways, Dolly Parton is in the news. Why wow, we just wasted four minutes on absolutely nothing. And people love it. That's the best part. Dolly Parton does not want a statue of herself. First of all, they couldn't afford the... Never mind. Um, Tennessee lawmakers tried to erect a statue of her at the Capitol. The 75-year-old entertainment icon wrote a statement posted to Twitter on Thursday. I want to thank the Tennessee... Ronald, read you, that, you were on a roll. Just read that. You were on a read roll. Read that. I'm, I quit. I want to thank the Tennessee legislature for their consideration of Try a bill to... Try not to sound like that, please. Just read it normal. <laughs> Just read it normal. Don't like. sound like yourself. <laughs> what? Dude, I was. that was my announcer voice. You didn't yeah, like don't, it? Yeah, no, it sounded terrible. To Just read it normally. To erect a statue of the, on the Capitol grounds. I am honored and humbled by the intention, but I've asked the leaders of the state legislature to remove me from the bill in any, in any and all consideration. Given all of this is going on in the world, I don't think it's appropriate putting me on a pedestal. And I hope though that sometime several years down in the future now or perhaps i'm going to you're still going to feel this way about me and that i'm deserving of this i'll Bada give, bing, I'll give that bing. a c it sounds like she's saying don't do it while i'm alive no i think she's saying that i know how insensitive this would come across if we if we throw a statue up of me during corona and with everything with everything going on right now i i think honest to god i think she just doesn't want the attention um and and i think you're right while she's alive has something to do with it but i don't like I think Dolly is a, a nice lady. She does a lot of good. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I don't know where she stands at about on Jesus and 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 uh, and politics, which are you know the two things that that we would probably look at and say, do we agree or disagree with her? But she seems like a good enough lady. Does a lot of good for a lot of people, and um, I think it's a wise call. I, I really do uh, because there's not another. You know, there's not another celebrity that. I think would probably do something like this. Most of them think they need more than more than one statue. It, it right? is it is humble, but again, I just feel like I would feel weird being alive looking at a statue, and I like I want to judge that statue. Like, oh, I don't look like me, or they should have did this different, or I don't know. Does any statue ever look like the people? Yeah, have you seen Rocky Balboa? Come on. <laughs> 
That's always a little different. I just – I was more concerned about the logistics on a statue here. Like, it would be so top-heavy, front-heavy mm-hmm. that, like, it would just – I mean, it would be an engineering feat. Oh, you would have to make sure that you you connected this thing to the ground in such a way that – I mean, because the first puff of wind comes by, you know what they say, every time the wind blows, you know, it just <laughs> – there she goes, falls falls over <laughs> – Falls up forward, and you know, and then you got to stand it up tall again, and then it, you know, and between. Like if, you, if you go to Jack Daniels, they talk about. I guess he was a pretty short guy, but they had to uh, expand his foot size because if they Correct. made it exact, the uh, they're like the small. statue would topple over because yeah. he only had like a five or a six size shoe, and it just. I was you like, know wow. what they say about dudes with small shoes? They got small feet and they wear small socks. Um, it. it you know, here's the other thing. Maybe we could do with with Do- Dolly. I mean, maybe instead of a full statue, we just uh, we just go with a bust. Like just the bust, no head. <laughs> <laughs> it took you a second, but I got a little bit for it. No, you know what I'm talking about. They have a bust, like it's called a stat. Like the there's a form of statues. Connor, help me out here. Yeah, there's like, a form like of statues called the like button. the bust. Yeah, starts yeah, it's right just around the, the head button. and neck. Be- yeah, head and neck and belly button. It's like, the, well, it's more than neck. It's I like collarbone kind of, like, yeah, like collar up. I yeah. think there's a reason it's called the bust because the bust is where it starts, right? Yeah, it's like. Wouldn't that, I mean, Connor, can you can you look that up? Can you fact check that? Why is, uh, the, why is it called a bust? I think it's because it starts at the bust, which, I mean, we're joking about her, her plastic modifications, but, but. I think that really is why it's called that. No, I mean, it makes sense. I've never thought of the bust as the bosoms. You know, I think it's a different thing. Like the bust is actually, as you said, it's a, it's a section of your body. Between or, your, it's between your chest. Yeah, something around there. So, Connor? It is from the Latin bustum for tomb or sepulchral monument. Okay, never mind. That helped. Oh, strike one. Ah, there he is. Strike, strike one. So I missed that one. That's okay. Don't worry about it. We'll uh, we'll, we'll make it back. Anyways, it just uh, it's interesting to see uh, a celebrity that's not so self involved and not so self absorbed. You know what this made me think of is that, that exact same thing. And I wonder to myself too. I mean, there's a there's a good handful of celebrities that you see, and they're like, okay, you want the limelight, but there's a vast majority of celebrities that you just never hear about. You know, and Dolly Parton is not one. Yeah, of them. think you, about that. That's you, interesting. You hear about well, Dolly Parton a lot, but they they put her yeah. in the news. So like, I was reading this yesterday, and my thoughts on it were: How many times do you all of a sudden there's like a surprise reveal of a stat like nobody really knows about it, and then all of a sudden it's there? It's probably because all of this paperwork and process went through in the first, and the so they have to sign off on it because it's the bill, which means they're yeah. putting money towards it, and, and then you have to get the you know the approval of the person. And she was like, "No, nah, I don't want to do that." So, which makes you wonder, I mean, doesn't that make you wonder just a little bit? Like if, if it got to that point where it was almost becoming a bill right. and she's now saying this, like, did she give them indication that she wanted it at first or did they just kind of no, push I think, it? Right? I think they you know? brought it up. To, I think they brought it up to her and then she decided, no, I don't want to do it. Where on the other hand, the same process with somebody else. And they're like, yeah. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, we're doing a reveal. And then, yeah. you know, pull the, pull the drape. And, and then they act all surprised. And right. Like, oh, it's a, such an honor. But isn't it interesting that a, that a, a lawmaking body would go through that to say, let's build a statue for Dolly Parton, who's great right. in many ways. But like, but does why, she need a statue? But why would they even get to that point? Like, well, what? she's done a lot. Like when the when the fire went through Gatlinburg and and all that. She, I mean, she did a ton to really help out with with people and and all that. So I I don't know. I don't know it. I mean, it's deserving, but at the same time, yeah. I mean, is just, it though? It, is I mean, it though? I would I mean, rather is give there Dolly any Parton celebrity a than uh, Kanye West or sure, but but, Kim but Kardashian. again, but again, that's 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 comparing a turd to a crap pile, right? I mean, is there any celebrity that is deserving of a statue in front of the state legislature? Now, if you want to build them a statue outside your your city's movie theater or, or outside the concert hall, because that's what they did. Like, I think a statue needs to be. Like if Babe Ruth got a statue, it doesn't need to be down at the Capitol. Right. Like exactly. it needs to be at the baseball stadium. Yeah, that was the other thing that stood. I was like, why did they pick the state? Uh, it needs the to capital. be. It needs to be at the baseball stadium. If right. I if I get a microphone or a microphone, good gracious, if I get Lord a statue, forbid. it needs to be you know down at the Little League baseball park. Was the last time I was good at anything, right? And so I mean, you you've got to you've got to put. To, I just don't understand that. Like, why are we building a statue outside the state legislature for an entertainer? Hmm. I don't get that. It just seems like a waste of freaking money. If it was my government, I would be I'd be furious. Like, hey, 
you know what, Dolly Parton, you're right. Maybe she is deserving. She's a great woman. Does a lot of good things. I mean, donated mm-hmm. millions of dollars to fire relief. Like literally, just started stroking checks to help people. And 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 is I mean, really, really interesting, nice lady. But as soon as it went up, somebody would say, "Take it down." Well, no, because I mean, it, somebody, well, I don't know. Sooner gonna or later, something. they're going to say there's a white, there's a statue of a white person, and that's racist to black people. I, it's kind of like math. But her name's Dolly. Down. Dolly came from. <laughs> Can't, can't Speaking right. of Gatlin. Connor, where do you land on this? I, I've got to know where Connor lands on Dolly statue. Uh, I can think of worse people to erect statues of. <laughs> like who? Well, Kanye or... De- Does uh, Kanye have a statue? No, but he was brought up I'm earlier. I'm sure he has one. So, all right. So, here's, an, here's a question. I, and, and if anybody wants to dig around and try to find this then, and during the break, then so be it. But where, what, what you know, you said well, I can think of worse people. And you're right. I, I, think, Do- I think of all the people, Dolly is, is, is a... Deserving as a celebrity could be now outside of a state legislature, I'm not sure. But what is the worst statue standing today? That's a good question. Google that joker up 866 494 9866. What is the worst statue standing today? When we come back, math is racist. Don't go anywhere. Boomer and the beard. There's nothing like the peace and serenity that you get while fishing. Invest in the rod you deserve. Old 18 is a veteran-owned company operated by a U.S. Navy SEAL and Top Gun fighter pilot, breaking the mold of the fishing industry. At Old 18, we offer high-quality products with a 25-year master rod builder behind every rod. We offer a no-nonsense, hassle-free warranty we stand in front of so you don't get left behind. Shop old18.com and type in the code BEARD for a 20% discount. This is Mike four years ago. This is Mike having the same conversation with Debbie just last month. And today, he's at it again. What's that, Mike? I said, but our house is still uh, underwater. How do you know? (coughs) Have you had it appraised lately? Oh, well, no. Has the coronavirus made your life less financially stable? Are you worried about your next mortgage payment? Reed's Family REI is a family-based real estate investing company ready to buy your house for cash in any area or condition and close in two weeks. You don't have to fix it up. There's no agent fees, and we handle the closing costs. Selling a home can be very stressful. And Wyatt Reed and his team at Reed's Family REI will put together the best possible offer for your specific needs. Sell your home fast with Reed's Family REI. 931-292-2875. That's 931-292-2875. And online at reedsfamilyrei.org. Reed's Family REI. Creative real estate experts for all your buying or selling needs. So, what do you want to eat? I want something fast-tastic. Fast-tastic? Yes, fast, yet fantastic. (laughs) Sounds, uh, swift delicious. Well, then let's go. Eat more chicken with Chick-fil-A and Decatur, the taste that you can't get anywhere else. Download the Chick-fil-A app today, bypass the line, and enjoy your Chick-fil-A even faster. Two great Chick-fil-A locations in Decatur, ready to serve you. Stop by today on Highway 31 South and on the Beltline in Decatur. Where is your haircut gone? We know you don't get out as much. You don't drive by your regular sport clips and pop in for that MVP haircut experience that is so much that makes you melt into your seat. Oh, man, you remember that, right? Mm, We found your haircut. It's right where you left it. Sport clips. It's good to be a guy. This is News Talk 770 AM, 92.5 FM, WVNN. This is Dale Jackson, and you're listening to Boomer and the Beard, the show that survives on your low expectation. Here we go. Sing this one out now. Uh. Got him on my knees again. Got him begging, please, again. I need you. Come on. Here we go. Welcome back to Boomer and the Beard. God, I need you. Man, what a good song. I wish we had time to just let that in play. I'd, I'd, let that whole, I'd let that whole song go. But the people on live stream are like, I can't hear you. So, Connor, they're, they're here for those of you on the live stream. But the other option is silence in me singing, and that's a lot worse, I promise. So, uh, bear with us. I mean, look, at the bottom line is there's no streaming 
licensing to play licensed music. We have a license for the radio. We can play it on the podcast, but on live streaming, we get booted every time we do it. Connor's constantly undoing uh, some kind of a a copyright because I'm over here hitting buttons I shouldn't be hitting. So uh, we appreciate him and making sure you guys have a live stream option. And so we, uh, I would put our production up with just about anybody's out there. So uh, thank you for that. Young Connorson, producer Connorson. Uh. Ah, kind of son. MyPillow is a proud sponsor of Boomer and the Beard. Uh, go to MyPillow.com. Use promo code BEARD when you when you go to MyPillow.com slash radio specials. Or make sure you've done that. Go to MyPillow.com slash radio specials. Use promo code BEARD. In the meantime, you can do so by going to BoomerandBeard.com. Spell out the word and. Click on partners there at the top, and you'll see a list of all of our radio advertising partners. And that... Uh, it would be a good place to start your shopping anytime you need to buy anything. That's all I have to say about that. Uh, we were going to talk about math being racist. We're going to sit on that story for a moment. Uh, we don't. I didn't see anybody calling in with any crazy statues, so apparently everybody is. Uh, well, apparently we don't have any woke people listening to our show because uh, there would have been a list, a long list of statues in Alabama that need to come down. But um, uh, anyways, before yeah. we get started too much, I'd like to say uh, my employee and good friend Heath and his lovely fiance Cynthia are on their way to Gatlinburg right now to get married. So, is that like the Vegas of the South? Yep. Well, is that where you go? And yeah. so, does that mean the marriage is going to last, or is it going to be like a? Well, I mean, why would they not just like get married like normal? I don't know. Anyway, y'all be safe. Heath, I'm not trying. I mean, I look. I'm sure you love your. I'm sure you love your fiance, and I'm sure that this thing. Hey, Panama City. That's what so. they call the shotgun. We call that the old 12 gauge. But no, I'm kidding. You know, I'm giving you guys all our time. Much, uh, many blessings to you, and we hope that you have a safe trip, but also a, a wonderful marriage, and that you would fulfill uh, God's image and God's purpose for men and women in marriage, and that's to personify his relationship with the bride of Christ and uh, the church, and, and you guys would live that out, and we we will uh, we will be praying and, 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 and thinking about you guys, and, and again, wish you very many blessings in marriage as a, as a, as a, as a young couple uh, headed to headed to tie the old oh, knot. Yeah, and so it's snowy luck. up there, too, so it's going to be beautiful. I yeah, hope they oh, make it's going to be gorgeous, and I'm sure they will, as long as they're in a front wheel or four wheel drive vehicle. Um, in other news, speaking of uh, speaking of shotguns, Ted Cruz, no, oh, mullet man Cruz. By the way, did you guys see his legit mullet he had cut into his head? Yep, I'm talking about rocking it. I'm talking about hey, trailer parks from north to south, east to west, were all fired up. We got a what? we got a couple guys in the group that have them. Yeah, but they're not sitting U.S. senators or no. congressmen or whatever he is. What is he? In? He's senator. a senator. Yes, I nailed that the first time around. I'm always worried. I, I'm not. Anyways, politics is tough. And politics sucks. Being well, a no, couple in Northern you, Virginia. You could you do a skullet? My wife would kill you. But could you do a skullet? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Hmm. You'd have to. You'd have to put that over with the uh, with I her. I think it would look good. Well, Nicole and I are now we're friends. Yeah, I know. So I will. I'll have to talk to her about that. Um, she did call you out about the whole toothbrush thing. She just said you were just trying to act cool on the radio. And no, you no, use no. Toothbrush all the time. No, no. So what I said was was true. Well, and that's I not will what your wife not says. use her toothbrush for any. But she uses mine you're all the time. Braver than I am. I'm not going to hey. call. I'm not going to call her a liar like you are right now. Right. But she'll have to go back and read this. She's not going to be up for another thirty minutes. Oh, I'll, I'll circle back to it. Ted Cruz <laughs> flies to Mr. Cruz. Got on a plane and flew to Cancun as the rest of his state is experiencing one of the most devastating billion dollars. Yeah, that's huge. There's pipes and damage to his home. And so I don't feel bad for that guy. He's got plenty of money to fix it. But what about the people that don't, right? Right. I mean, he's got great insurance. He's going to be okay. It's an inconvenience, and it sucks, certainly, I, I, just like it would be for me. I mean, I've got insurance, and we're super blessed. I mean, if you, if you again, if you make over $30,000 a year, you're in the top 1% of the, of the world. Over $30,000 a year, you're in the top 1% of the world in earnings. So never forget that. But... Does anyone have a problem with Ted Cruz going to Mexico? Nope. I don't. He should have stayed. He should have stayed and used up that gas that's sh- everybody's short of. I mean, to me, it's like one less person there sucking up the energy. Well, I, here's my thing about it: if you're Ted Cruz, you've got to know that there's crosshairs on your head. Yeah, the at optics. all times, yeah. and the optics of this are, as as Charles Barkley would say, terrible. <laughs> They're terrible, and but I don't care. I don't care that he went to Mexico. I don't care that Barack Obama played golf. I don't care that, that Bush played golf. I don't care that Clinton – well, never mind. I do care about that. But uh, nothing. No, I, I didn't get anything on my activities. And then I said, and I don't care that Clinton 
Oh no! About this Ted Cruz. That thing. joke was just a little too. I, I, I too made, thinky. Yeah, that's too right. Early. That's exactly what I was going to say. I was going to say. Too much. It made you think too hard. Sorry about that. No, I was going to say about the Ted Cruz thing. I mean, or vice versa, or more concerned about opinion. Like I don't care, but I also didn't care about any. What are the any of the demo? Can't hold different standards for different people. It has to be the same. No, standard sure. No, that no, that's not true, Ronald. The, I saw Dale Jackson put out a story yesterday. Speaking of, and I know this is a bit of a, a not a tangent that 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 takes of that were were not good at all, and and I understand that. Um, Mal. Mao Mao Zedong Mao what's in the press versus how Rush was eulogized in the press right mm -hmm. and and you would think like comparing a one of the most brutal dictatorial figures of all times been a, he may have been a republican he may have been a conservative but he was an american listen to this these great revolutionary figures the father of the chinese revolution and just two or three days ago, CNN headline was... Here's the New York Times eulogy of Rush Limbaugh. Okay, so again, we've got... And Connor, pull up some statistics, please, on Mao side that happened during that time period. I'd love to see some numbers on that, if you could pull those for us. Uh, because dies, Mr. Limbaugh, 70, who helped transform the GOP, pushed talk radio to the right with misogynistic and racist language and conspiracy theories. So on one hand anyone to death uh eulogized as a as as a terrible human being and then you've got the quote from uh, the chinese people um the cultural revolution that he incited has been uh estimated to have cost between 40 and 80 million yeah 40 million person gap i mean can we not close the gap a little bit on the standard it all goes back to the standard you cannot strikes yeah i mean and i to me i feel like in this nation we just need to receive the message in a more humble i don't care yeah I didn't care that, uh, that 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 Obama, you know, took a smoke break every 20 minutes. You know, He's, I don't care if he wants to leave the Oval Office every 20 minutes. So be it. I don't care if if he played golf. I don't care if Bush played golf. I don't care if Trump played golf. They got their job done. Dang right, I'd be. He gone. I'm out. You look FM Trinity Accumulus Station. It's six o'clock. News starts now. From ABC News. This will bring a needed thaw to the state, but could also bring more problems. By Monday, the snow that has covered Dallas-Fort Worth will be a memory. In the meantime, the power outages brought on by the cold drag on, says Dallas Fire Captain Christian Inahosa. We had a call the other day where somebody's burning parts of their bed frame to stay warm in their home. But the thaw could actually create a new problem, adding to the hundreds of water main breaks around the city. Jim Ryan, ABC News, Dallas. Water's a problem throughout the region. About 7 million people in Texas are under a boil water advisory, and most of Jackson, Mississippi, does not have running water. Also calls in Texas for an investigation into why utility providers were unable to deal with the unusually cold weather. It is maddening that the textable. Senator Ted Cruz speaking to KTRK, but he is under scrutiny. President Biden will announce the U.S. is going to release $4 billion to a program that allows poorer nations. And the White House in rare agreement on pandemic education. The president wants schools to open uh, uh, five days a week. He wants kids to be in school. But spokesperson Jen Psaki says President Biden wants teachers vaccinated and everyone receiving enough masks and distance to make it safe. But she says it is the local school board's decision. C News. Do you owe back taxes? Do you know that the government is giving away billions of dollars to help Americans with delinquent? The IRS is one of the most powerful collection agencies in the world. If you let things go, they'll have the power to take your paycheck, your house, and your freedom. If you owe the IRS more than $10,000, you can call Versitax and quickly get the IRS off your back. Tom called. They got the IRS off my back and settled with payments for a fraction of what I owed. If you owe more than $10,000, you need to call the hotline now. 800-687-9070. Call now to see if you qualify for this Fresh Start program. 687 9070. That's 8070. Thanks to Versi Tax, they saved my life. 800 687 9070. Instrument do they play? One call to us. Cabinet Express Online, North Alabama's premier cabinet supplier. Whether you want a complete custom kitchen or some of our RTA lines, either way, in no time at all, your dream kitchen can be a real with Cabinet Express Online. Call 256-289. Design your custom kitchen today. Wind on it.
podcast. That is the number one objective, if not the entire world, probably the world. So the uh, we're so I, I I don't drink coffee, but I do. But right. I, I've said it a hundred times. Coffee is not something you inherently work down. It's a caffeine delivery device, and I need it because. It's, it's unbelievable. It's so good. Their food is unbelievable. Uh, waffle and chicken and waffles. They got omelets. They got all kinds of stuff. Unfortunately, Ronald, we've not been able to get you down there and get you a omelet or a chicken and waffle simply because the weather's been uncooperative. We but, got uh, tomorrow morning. No, we don't. Way out of the way, going where we're going. But uh, good idea, good try. But dude, make sure you guys are going to see Just Love Coffee over in Huntsville. Now, don't forget. Now they they have a new store brewing. Just uh, just brewing over in Madison. Didn't They're about to open up. Yeah. Like how you did that. Well, they did that. I didn't do that. They no. wrote that. That's their. That was their thing. So um, yeah, it is. It's pretty good. So make sure you guys are supporting Just Love Coffee Huntsville, and then obviously Just Love Coffee in Madison is going to open soon, and we will be we will be doing some live broadcast from their studio or from their studio from their from their cafe so that'll be cool that'll, that'll be, be awesome that'll be close to you yeah so uh we're just super excited about that they're over on memorial parkway they got a drive through you can call ahead uh or, or i'm sorry they don't have a drive through but they will bring it out to your car a lot of people call the breakfast in pull up park and then they bring it out to the car you never have to get out it's fantastic so make sure you guys go see them over on memorial parkway or go to just love coffee cafe.com or give them a call at 256-488 nine one two two three so we are live this morning from the chick-fil-a decatur studios and we're fired up we're ready to go we're just rocking and rolling through this thing and uh and and we've got a we've got a story uh, a story here that i, I want to touch on that uh this one could get us in trouble fellas uh this one could get us in trouble um a new survey of two thousand americans uh, by by fresh avocados uh, first of all let me stop a new survey of 2,000 Americans by Fresh Avocados. That means it's accurate. No, does that mean like the avocados are interviewing here or surveying or what? And and and, is that and an I, organization. I get. I get. Connor, like, can you look that up, please? Like what rotten, what is like rotten tomatoes? Like yeah, I get <laughs> <laughs> for food. <laughs> yeah, just think about if it was like soft old brown avocados. Like that wouldn't have as much of an impact. So who is is Fresh Avocados an organization or? Like some kind of avocado group or, or something? I, it's curious. A, sur- a new survey of 2,000 Americans by Fresh Avocados. Hmm. Anyways, they uh, find that three-quarters of Americans... I love how you can survey 2,000 people and then say three-quarter of Americans. With a sample size of 2,000. So that means three-quarter of 2,000. Right? So that would be 1,500 of the 2,000. Seven percent admit to sneaking healthy ingredients into their loved ones. I think... The- is that I, one of those things where, like, your significant others put on the COVID fifteen, and you're trying to suggestively bring that back down, or like, uh, I mean, if what if I mean, just think about that. I mean, I know my wife was like really suggestively saying, like, "Hey, you want to start eating right again?" You know, like, <laughs> no, mine was, "Here you go, eat this." <laughs> like, like you'd be turning, hey, a- hey, fatty. <laughs> Get over here and eat this crap so you lose some weight, my God. Tearing down, like a, tearing down a biscuit and there's a green bean in it. Like, no, <laughs> no, no. Why? Nicole makes a really good food, but it's 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 but it's gone to a very healthy side. Yeah, she she. So you think she's suggesting you need to lose a couple? LBs? Oh yeah, she tells me. Oh, straight to the face. I like that. <laughs> there's no. That's a woman no after filters. my own heart. There's no. No, there's no filters. How could she be filtered with you as a husband? No, she can't. She wouldn't get anywhere. She wouldn't get anywhere. So I mean. Who among us is guilty of uh, of of suggesting uh, suggesting that our significant other or family member need? I mean, I, that's just a sketchy. That's a ske- look. If you value your life, it's a very so slippery got, slope. It, slippery slope. I got a, a quick story on. Uh, okay. So it wasn't a. Careful. It wasn't trying yeah. to like put in like healthy thing. Uh-huh. But Nicole went to some uh, for some exams uh, at the doctor, uh-huh. and they said something about exams? Uh, thyroid thing. Oh, yeah. and I was putting clothes away, you know, because yeah. she told me to. Uh-huh. And I was like, "Oh, well, that's cool." I was like, "Is it the one that makes you skinny, or the one?" <laughs> <laughs> just, just skirt, no, slow no, down, Wayne. There, no, was all on me. no, no. There wasn't even any slow down. There was. I just stopped talking. <laughs> yeah, that happens all and the then, time. And then I looked out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, "I'm just gonna keep putting clothes." Away. Act like she didn't hear it. Act like she didn't hear it. Act like she didn't hear it. I didn't say it. I didn't say yeah. it. I didn't say it. I'm gonna go do dishes now. Yeah. Honey. <laughs> hey, hey, babe, I'm gonna take the trash out, do the dishes, and feed the dogs. Okay. All right. Uh, I, I got. I got it tonight. Hey, you just take care of you, boo boo. Yeah. Uh, like what? Uh, it's just a. For men, I would say that uh, 
our our women suggesting that we lose some weight would be would be it wouldn't it doesn't hurt my feelings at all. I'm not over here crying because no, it's, it's you called, think I'm fat? It's called facts. Do I look good in this shirt? <laughs> Which shirt should I wear? Whatever one you want, dear. Mm-hmm. I don't care. I mean, I'm sorry, baby. I think they all look fantastic. You look skinny. You're beautiful. I love you so much. Uh, I'll feed the dogs, do the dishes, and do the laundry. <laughs> like what? <laughs> <laughs> and so and so, you know, eight six six four nine four nine eight six six eight six six four nine four WVNN. How many of you have had the suggestive? Like, it's not just food either. It's wardrobe. Have you noticed that? No, honey. Certain I, things. I love rolls. Certain things. <laughs> <laughs> you better be careful, bro. He's talking about yeast rolls for those of you out there that are wondering. Uh, with my steak. It's not just. It's not just the food, though. It's the wardrobe. Have you noticed that? Like, I've got a certain shirt that I wear every day. That you got. I mean, my my flannel shirt over here that I've noticed from time to time will just kind of disappear. And it's like, where did? And then, like, my wife will have put it up for me. And it's yeah, well, the, like little Dickie oh, jeans. Gone. Um, you got some, you got, you know, you got a no, painter's, you know, painter's pants yeah. with a little, and they're just not cool anymore. But they're comfortable, man. They're yeah, comfortable. they fit. Yeah, that's right. But because we as men are about utility, right. not you so much, but the rest of us. I'm about fashion. Uh, yeah, that's right. High fashion over here. He's Cam Cam Newton, but the rest of us are are, are really about function. Right, I mean, I've noticed my man Jonah over here wears a pair of Dickies every day. Now they're, all day, they're not very stylish, but by God, they are functional. Get right. it done. And so I'm just curious: has your wife ever like tried to she, advise you into maybe a different pair of pants or a different diet? She or? just makes sure my shirt is long enough. <laughs> That's it. She'll be like, nah, that shirt's too short. I see a little belly hanging out the bottom. I know. Hey, get, get the get the shirt extensions. Uh, I just, I mean, it's just a slippery slope here. Shirt extension. <laughs> it's just a slippery slope here. Trying to suggest that your significant other eat a little healthier. Like, there's no like, hey, babe, have you thought about working out lately? Like, would anyone say that? No. I'll tell her. I'm like, look, I'm I need to start eating better. I got to do better. And she's like, I just love you, you just the way you are. I'm like, well, I need to live longer for you. How about that? Well, inside, she's saying, please, for the love of all this good and holy, eat some green beans. Stay <laughs> easy on the white gravy and, and fried chicken. Okay, please. Jonah, like, golly, my man Jonah's just over here. But inside, but and my, look, my wife loves me to death. But my wife did say one time, she was like, we we're talking about some challenges that we were facing, you know, and she's like, well, maybe, though, I mean, things have changed a little bit since you've gotten a little bigger. And I'm like, good Lord. Like, what do you – is it – did I, think, I just get fat joked by my wife? I think everybody gains a little bit of weight when they get married back to my you're marriage a net, weight. You're a net gain 40. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, the <laughs> math on that is not, is not good. I haven't gained weight since college. Well, that's also uh, – that's, that's I don't even want to talk about that. Yeah, you got yeah. that reverse thyroid. <laughs> that's right. like that, that we're trying to get – <laughs> or no thyroid or something. I, I don't really. I, yeah, I'm just curious about who's got the cojones to. My, my weight goes to my nose. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> and ha- it's obviously been doing that for some time now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's absolutely right. This is Boomer in the Beard. Uh, don't worry, ladies. Uh, ladies of the show, you are beautiful just the way, just the way you are. Boomer in the Beard will be right back. Uh, why are you staring at me? I know what you did. What? You know what you did. What are you, are you, what, what are you talking about? The cookie dough. You've been all up in the cookie dough. My! Cookie dough with cookie dough magic, now open in Huntsville. We all have memories of stealing that cookie dough from the mixer before our grandmother could bake it. Now you can get it in a cone, cup, milkshake, and more. All safe to eat with no baking required. We have 12 delicious flavors. It's the best of both worlds. Delicious cookie dough, and it's safe to eat. Some of our signature, hmm, it's so good. Get yours today at Cookie Dough Magic. Now open on Jefferson Street North in downtown Huntsville. And check us out online at mycookiedoughmagic.com. Life is short. Mix it up with Cookie Dough Magic. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, the inventor of my pillow. And like all of you out there, I had problems sleeping. Pillows would go flat. I would flip flop all night long. I would wake up with a sore neck, maybe a headache, or feel like I needed a nap, even though I slept eight hours. When I invented my pillow, I wanted it to where you can move the patented fill to give you the exact support you need as an individual, regardless of sleep position. My pillow will get you into that deep sleep faster and you will stay there longer. It's not about how much time we spend in bed. It's about how much of that quality sleep we get. 
I do all of my own manufacturing right here in the United States. I have a 10-year warranty. You can wash and dry my pillow, and I give you a 60-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to lose. And here's my best offer ever. Buy your premium queen-sized MyPillow for $29.99. That's right, $29.99 for a premium queen-sized MyPillow, only $5 more for the king size. Go to MyPillow.com. Slash radio specials, use promo code BEARD at checkout. Are you tired? You suffer from chronic fatigue, neuropathy, or joint pain? Call Madison Integrative Medicine. Our amazing staff will provide an medicine. Don't let the symptoms become overwhelming. Treat them live. That's 3250955. The Dale Jackson Show, weekday mornings only on WVNN. Welcome back to the Boomer and the Beard Show, broadcasting live from the Chick-fil-A Decatur Studios. We're so thankful you've chosen to join us here each and every morning. Boomerandbeard.com. Spell out the word and. Boomerandbeard.com. Spell out the word and. And We are so thankful to have you this morning. Speaking of Chick-fil-A, they are hiring folks. Chick-fil-A of Decatur is hiring with two locations to serve you with all the pleasure in the world. They're on Highway 31 South and the Beltline. Give McKenzie a call. Tell her the beard sent you. I worked there uh, through my high school days, and it was a it was an absolute uh, it was an absolute blast. We had a great time. They feed you well. They pay you well. They uh, they take good care of their people. And so we would suggest that you run your child or run over there yourself or whatever. Go to go to Chick Fil A and Decatur. Both locations. They are hiring. And tell them the beard sent you. In uh, space news. Come- we had some space updates uh, on Thursday, so that maybe would uh, help us help us through this segment here. But really, nobody in this studio. 4, 4, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, and it wasn't even two minutes before the Perseverance built. It was designed to explore the planet for at least two years to Earth on a future mission, as well as turning atmospheric carbon dioxide that will perform the first ever controlled flight on another planet. So came out really good uh but connor what i mean can you give us i mean i I know this is pretty cool right i mean it's the first time we've done this on mars so that's big that what does that even mean exactly i thought we already found life on mars but then they also sent some smaller ones a couple basically (laughs) basically we sent a polaris ranger up there just go stick around for two years taking pictures of a planet that do but like what do we gain as a country by spending all this money on exploring mars Mind, New listing coming soon on Mars. It's a two acre, uh, two acre plot with a nice uh, spring fed pond. All the diamonds. If all that, that could be a thing. Which planet is it that says it's like almost all covered in diamonds? Is that like Jupiter or Pluto? Do y'all have any clue what I'm talking? Oh, about? If we could actually I think get you there. Made that up. That's crazy. You know, Connor, back me up. Come on, man. It's Aliens. Guy. Aliens. Like, I don't care about that. I've never heard of that, but it's not to say it's not real. Oh. It's an exoplanet called Fifty Five. I'm so away. That's what it says. You, Uranus. Not your, not my. Never mind. Uranus. <laughs> not, not you. <laughs> not, not my. Not your planets like Uranus without that. First of all, why would you? Even if it's u- even if it's Uranus, Who's, like that doesn't help. Like that doesn't help. That's so undeniable. Colonize. Yeah. To, okay. to explore and colonize Mars is to ensure the survival of our species. I'm sorry. Discover species. So I guess we're going to oh. evolve. We're going to evolve. Oh. We've had life there for a while. I mean, Mar- how long has Marvin been here? Marvin- Uranus Five Star Hotel forgets to put a mirror coating. Yeah, but the new five star hotel on South Korea's Jeju Island is under fire. It's sauna windows. Uh, <laughs> so, and the Grand Joseon Jeju Hotel opened last month. Now it's come out that the nation. Well, that sucks, man. You're you're down there checking into the hotel, and you're like, uh, "Wow, Uranus above us." <laughs> Gives a new meaning to seeing Uranus. Who said his wife had used the sauna several times before she were told the windows uh, were not mirror coded. They found out they were transparent on their last day when they were. It's funny how it took, whoa. Had, it seems it like took days. It to, seems like there's a little bit of quality control. They got the mist yeah. On. I'd, I'd like to be in that meeting. I'd like to be in that meeting. Uh, okay, Jiju Sun. We were supposed to mirror coat sun, the sauna sun. I ain't going to say that. No. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> Not my garage, right? And you check it in. You got your family there. And we, we went there for Christmas. We talked about that. The great the great COVID Petri dish, right? And we, we, we check it in. You got your family there. And, and you got to remember, like, when I walked in, I had me, my wife, my five-year-old, my dad, my mom, my sister, her husband, and their three kids. And you walking around with your kids, and, and my son would be like, Daddy, you imagine? I mean, I was at a I was at a water park up in Canada, 
Um, and it was kind of it was kind of like a Great Wolf Lodge, but we were up there to see Niagara Falls. Right? Okay. And there was this attractive middle aged lady that had her uh, breast hanging out, and we were just staring at it. Like we never told her, we never said anything. It's just one of those things you just you just have to stare at it. And this was and last just, year. No, this is a couple years ago. This is a couple years ago. And my <laughs> wife caught, week. like me and my wife were sitting there talking about it. And she's like, stop staring, stop out there. It wasn't a Everybody knows it's awkward when you see your anus. That's right. It's just a, yeah. But I don't know. I don't know if I would have said anything. That, that Can was my you? Question. I mean, will you say anything? I, I don't, I don't, I don't think, I mean, I, like, I'm just trying to keep my kids from seeing it, right? And hoping that, hoping that we could just get to our room fast enough. Well, Bro, this is a big boo-boo. We talked about yeah. uh, Hayden. Uh, hey, g- give everybody on the, forgetting the mirror coating in the sauna. Yeah. That's on the can't happen list. Can't happen. Oh, well, can't happen. Here's a question. Like, can't so it, happen. You forget the mirror coat. Like you actually have, like, that you, or you just bought the wrong window. No, they mirror coat it. I mean, they, they, they forgot. Hmm. Yeah, you would think the quality control, somebody would pick that up. <clears throat> I mean, and, and so just so we know here, I just want you guys to understand, this hotel and... I mean, if I pay seven hundred twenty-two dollars a night, I only want to see what I want to see. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to because you all look. We've all been a well, big jump there. Senior high school uh, for our standardized testing. Standardized? What's it called? What's the uh, Virginia it, SO? Uh, and I wrote an essay about legislating legislating b- bathing suit types by weight because we've all been. <laughs> we've one thing you're not going to do is see me running around I weigh 295 pounds. You know why? Cuz don't know there it is. And so and so I mean, look, we've all been there. So you've got to understand like when you walk into the Jeju Island Hotel, who's in the sauna? Let's be honest. We've Mama, all been in the sauna at the gym. Mama June. We've all been in the sauna at the gym. You know how it, that that old man looks like uh, looks like grapes, oh, you know, so shriveled bad. up, uh, prunes. Uh, the people like, that need that's the people that need the uh up there, they up there without a mirror coating, you can see everything. Ain't no snacks. <laughs> <laughs> don't be jealous. You don't have a snack in your hand. He's eating cheddar. That's totally healthy. Totally healthy. Anytime it's so much. See, <laughs> see, and those are baked chips. They're good too. Yeah. I used to, I used to tell people, you. it'd be like, how much water do you drink? I was like, well, I brushed my teeth this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could go to the Jeju Sun Island and, and gather an audience, you know? <laughs> gather an audience while I'm in the sauna there. This is the Boomer and the Beard. This is a Friday morning edition. It is 31 minutes to the top of the hour or one minute to the bottom of the hour. Depends on how you look at it. This is News Talk 770 AM, 92.5 FM. People in Texas, but there is no end in sight to boil water advisories. That's leading people to try to find bottled water. I looked to look at my water, and I have less than a case of water, so I said, yeah, let's go start looking for water. Juanita Valdez attending a bottled water distribution order. Today, President Biden will take steps to address foreign policy. He'll take part in a virtual G7 summit and announce a $4 billion pledge to a U.N.-backed organization that assists poorer countries with accessing the coronavirus vaccine. Coronavirus vaccines, but vaccine distribution in the country has been affected by weather. 42 states have had to delay or cancel appointments, but the number of cases in the U.S. continues to fall. Brian Clark, ABC News. Karen's a quilter. Karen's quality quilts. Quality custom quilts quickly. How's the quilting business, Karen? Kind of quiet. My quest to quadruple my quilting cells has created a quagmire. Can I be candid, Karen? Okay. You need a website that can encompass the quality of your quilts. I know. Web Underdog creates websites that don't just catch the eye. They catch customers. And they're as user-friendly for you as they are for your clients. We build high-quality, clean, well-coded, custom designs for organizations of all sizes that are affordable, professional, and specially made for your brand. And visit the professional touch and contact Web Underdog dog for a free web design quote call 256-9980 sickle web design and seo agency uh why are you staring at me i know what you did what you know what you did what are you, are you what, what are you talking about the cookie dough you've been all up in the cookie dough my cookie dough okay see look what it has flavors in a cone cup milkshake and more cookie dough magic now open on jefferson street north in downtown huntsville and check us out online at mycookiedoughmagic.com. The way pot to poor people who claim to need it. Now, there are three marijuana dispensaries in Berkeley. A fourth is to be open soon. The new will not be bottom quality weed. The medical cannabis provided must be the same quality on average as the pot dispensed to other members, so says the law. So who can get the free pot? Well, you, you have to live in Berkeley, but you don't need a b- taxes and fees. Right now, if you make less than $32,000 a year, or if you are a family of four with an income of four, make a couple suggestions. If you're homeless, why not get together with three other homeless people, call yourselves a family, 
it's California after all, qualify for the free way of Chicago, Detroit, New York, Philly. They're giving away free pot in California. It's in Berkeley. Time for real climate change. Mo- Benjamin Franklin once wrote, <laughs> Nothing can be said to be certain. Pardon? Tax forms have all your personal info in one place. And this is the... This shan't stand! No, it shan't. Because LifeLock monitors your info and alerts you to identity threats, actions. But LifeLock helps you keep what's yours. Join today and save up to 25% off your first year at LifeLock.com with promo code NEWS. That's promo code NEWS. And earned for up-to-the-minute news. Log on to WVNN.com. Depend on it. This is it. Sing it right now. Come on. Welcome back to Boomer and the Beard. I'm Zach Walker, your big, beautiful, bearded host. So thankful to have you here with us every morning live. And the beard, they're hiring right now. So if you guys are looking for a job, go get one. McKenzie. Uh, talk to McKenzie, Highway 31 South and on the Beltline Indicator. Uh, Cookie Dough Magic is uh, another proud sponsor of the show. And we are playing our first. are so excited to be playing. We, we played them all. We play Sunday. So if you guys are interested in joining us uh, and watching some solid softball, it, it was moved from. <laughs> Cookie Dough Magic in Huntsville on Jefferson Road, uh, Jefferson Street, rather, right underneath Hayden's apartment. Make sure you guys go see them. Uh, they, they, they will make their cookie dough into shakes. It's unbelievable. They make their cookie dough with uh, pasteurized egg whites as opposed to butter, and it's, there's no raw eggs. It's delicious, and, uh, and uh, you're wrong if you've never had any. So, um, another story here. This one's kind of interesting. Um, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Captain. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Um, durr, durr. <laughs> durr. <laughs> Norway man breaks into Casco home and takes a bath. First of all, first of all, Norway. Oh, man. so it's in Maine. It's oh, in Maine. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> and Casco is the last name. Like, <laughs> no, what it means is man in Norway, Maine breaks into a home owned by the Cascos. It, it doesn't make a ton of sense, but this is quite interesting. Uh, Gary and Ann. Home, oh, Gary. Right. First of all, how do you get in the garage? That's what I want to know. It didn't, and it doesn't answer the question. So it sounded like it broke. It sounded like it moved in. It sounded like that. That's exactly <laughs> what it sounds like, and it gets weirder. But but if I if I come home, right? If I walk in, if I if I hit the garage door opener, and I will I will commence battle drill one alpha, and we will eliminate the threat, and it will be swift, and uh, and, and and violence of action will be high, right? At that point, because typically I've got my son or my wife with me, right? So they're gonna stay outside. And I'm gonna go. But these people didn't do that. They did the smart thing. They called the cops. The cops. First of all, no, just just waiting and going. Oh, yeah, that'd be hey. trippy. Uh, she said they came Thanks out for your hospitality. Yeah, they came yeah. out with a yo, little curious there. Sean <laughs> Shoemaker, who was a rest hard, made himself at home. He changed pictures. He took pictures off the wall, put them on other walls. He rearranged my mantle, put different stuff there. He went around and found our secret caches of money, put it in his pocket. But he also had his own food in the refrigerator. So at least he, at least he was kind enough to bring his back, and a man moved in. <laughs> like, I, I don't quite understand the timeline here. Oh wait, we went in on the waffle story happened, uh, and then and then it, from the department of captain obvious it could have been more dangerous if we had been home said gary this is a crazy thing the same man was cited for keeping 37 tarantulas three scorpions and a wolf earlier in a norway a wolf spider so oh. <laughs> that matters <laughs> it, a lot a lot a lot context is very important here and the difference in a wolf and a wolf spider is sick little insect things that could all kill you except for tarantulas uh but but yeah. Too, like, yes long walks on the beach and candlelit baths in other people's homes after you break in and bring your own groceries and you ain't gotta you ain't gotta you ain't gotta run into somebody's and break into somebody's house. But I you mean, can still bring groceries. That's okay. That's right. Yeah, and if we'll, you want to bring we'll your own groceries, groceries, I will. Well, I'm thinking he probably used the money that he stole to go buy groceries is what I would imagine he did. It's like the smart I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so because I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so. All right, I'm done. <laughs> Hayden's the best whooping boy ever. Do you think he used money to buy groceries? Did he live? It was smart. But then I we just. I believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so. Hayden, we love you, buddy. 
(laughs) (laughs) Screw you guys. I'm going home. I personally believe that U.S. Americans. (laughs) (laughs) He's he's trying to keep a good face and smile. He's over it. He's skinny. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Come after me. I'm a man. I'm for I got your back, Caden. I got your back, buddy. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> good sport about it. We're just having a good time, man. Nah, you, I'm just kidding. You, uh, yeah, you, no, you, no, you yeah, add I'm a whipping good. post to the show like nobody that's ever been before you, so we appreciate that uh, greatly. Let's go to a break. I can't. I got to catch my breath. Good gracious. <laughs> that was uh, – oh, man. Hayden, you know how much we love you, bud. The beard. We'll be right back. Oh. And then, a little harder. Let's take a look. At Lang Chiropractic, we'll help your sports performance and your overall health by improving your range of motion, flexibility, relieving inflammation, and so much more. Focusing to improve your health at Lang is focused on a whole person approach, finding those underlying causes, and creating a personalized plan for your individual needs. Schedule your visit by calling 256-444-60 to us online at langchiropracticcenter.com. Lang Chiropractic. You don't drive by your regular sport clips and pop in for that MVP hair cool for your face, massage shampoo that makes you melt into your seat oh man you remember that what's better than pizza that's right nothing well maybe except for the many ways you can eat it i like thinner crust oh and with a side of ranch mm-hmm don't take mine with- world but for your slice of the pie here locally you want to try donatage fresh hand-cut veggies and premium cheese and desserts don't keep eating those same old leftovers make tonight a donato's night with donato's pizza on madison boulevard in madison call 256-772-6789 that's 772-6789 and online at donato's.com donato's pizza where every piece is important Where is your haircut gone? We know you don't get out as much. You don't drive by your regular sport clips and pop in for that MVP haircut experience. That is so much more than a haircut. But isn't it worth getting out for? For that legendary hot steam towel for your face, massaging shampoo that makes you melt into your seat. Oh, man, you remember that, right? Mm, We found your haircut. It's right where you left it. Sport clips. It's good to be a guy. That's why I don't read the newspaper, because it's garbage. And the editor that let it come out is garbage. Come on. Hey, what can I say? Welcome back to Boomer and the Beard. I am Zach Walker, your big, beautiful bearded host. So thankful that you've chosen to join us here each and every day. 12 minutes to the top of the hour from the Chick fil A Decatur studio here. And uh, and, Ma- and Master Control over. We got Bro Montana. We got Jonah. We've got Ty. We've got Ronald. We've got producer Connor. The whole team is in the building. Uh, Hayden, buddy, we love you, man. We, we don't know what we'd do without you. you. You provide great fodder for the show. I love you guys too. And oh, Ronald, man. I'm going to miss you when you're gone. Oh, thanks. Oh, he's here. Yeah, there it is. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. So yeah. we've got a I'll story. Miss our, I miss our little sleepover. Yeah, yeah that, well, that was a blast, to be honest with you. That was fun. Uh, we got one more night if you want to come back on over. <laughs> nah, I'm good. <laughs> we've got a story here out of, and I'm afraid to. What? I don't. What? Oh, sorry. Uh, we got a story here out of, uh, out of, uh, it's a, it's a out of a out of a Dunkin' Donuts here that um, I mean I can't say that I don't I don't understand I mean I know where this lady's coming from I really do if I'm being honest with you uh, we've all been there but uh, math is if English is hard math is way harder and so let's just bring this up and let's just see what <laughs> I 
need more. <laughs> Fifty. Five zero. And let me just be clear for those of you that are watching or listening to our video on the radio. I know how frustrating that can be. That's what a dozen is. Okay, so 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 Karen here. We'll call her Karen. Um, Karen is. She looks like she's eaten a few donuts in her time, and uh, and and maybe her spouse has recommended that we eat some avocado. And do we and, know what steak Karen's in? Uh, I I don't have that on my story here, but I'm sure that uh, one of the guys here she, can pull that up. But, I think she uh, starred in a movie called Fifty Shades of Way. Okay, that's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. So this lady goes into a Dunkin' Donuts, it appears, and and is ordering. She is ordering some donuts after she ordered a dozen. She said, uh, "Give me a dozen donuts." Well, she's getting Munchkins, which are the I think they're, they're with the donut holes. Right, right. So when you order those, you don't order them in a dozen. You just order like a, a thing, right? But she said, "I need." She said, "I want a dozen donuts." And then when the lady gives her 12 of them, she said, no, 50, five, zero. That's what a dozen is. <laughs> now, I'm not a genius. Now, I play one on the radio, but I, I'm not, I don't even claim to be a smart man. Um, but last time I checked, even a baker's dozen wasn't 50. Uh, we've all been in this lady's shoes, though. I mean, you know how it is. I'm going to look. When I go into K-Maze down here, I mean, and I'll get a dozen donuts. I, I'd, I'd love to get 50. At least one mo for free. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> but, 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 but this lady, dude, this lady's straight throwing a fit, dog. Like I'm talking about straight up throwing a fit. Like how, Connor, let's. All right, here we go, Connor. You are working at the Dunkin' Donuts, okay? And I come in and I say, "Yes, sir. I would like a dozen donuts." You hand me my donuts back, and I say, "No, Connor. I want fifty five zero. That's what a dozen is." What time is it when this happens? It's uh, let's let's go with eight o'clock in the morning, okay? Yeah, because yeah, this lady doesn't look like she wakes up real early, okay? I got you. So let's go with eight o'clock. I, I'm fifty. <laughs> Get out of my store, woman. Get out of my store. You can't if you can't look. You, you can't even take off your 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 your. your, your Good gracious. That's called stuttering. Your shoes and get to and get to fifty. Like she can't count. I just look, I don't look. Like it's like people that say, Have you seen the of all times? When like when you just show your tail and we've all been there. We've all shown our tail to the world. I yeah. mean, we've all we've all made a scene in, in the wrong place at the wrong time. But like someone like someone's gotta someone's gotta do something about this lady, right? Well I, I that's a thing. I mean, I know that I've made a scene and I was completely that, like, can I have a large? Because there's two sizes. You can get a 25 count or a 50 count. Right. So, and a 50 count's 10 bucks. Right. And that's probably what she wanted. Right. Uh, but, it, but, but, but she said a dozen. Right. Most Americans, when they say a dozen, are going to pull out 12. Uh, oh, here's the best part. She got racist on him. Uh, the lady, Miss, we'll, we'll call her Karen, she accused the employee of, do you not understand English? Do you not understand math? math. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. She's in the metric. Here, I'm going to tell you something right now. Let me break it down for you. Those of you that like to go out to a restaurant or a public place and get so incensed about something, be honest with you, because I've been that guy before, and I can tell you right now, my wife did not love me in that situation. Like she was like, "Will you? Will this guy ever? Like, will you shut?" I'll never forget. We were in Las Vegas. I took my wife to Vegas for a concert. That's our thing, right? When when we're not in in a forced fake pandemic that shuts everything down for no reason, we uh, we typically buy for Christmas. We don't buy each other gifts. We we alternate years. She picks a concert. I pick a concert. It's mm -hmm. in a different state so we fly somewhere or we drive somewhere we go on a vacation together for three or four days we go watch it we love live music so we'll go see like we've seen george Strait, we've seen chris stapleton i mean we've, we've been able to see some really cool acts and and we just go we, we leave our son here or, or leave our son somewhere with with a grandparent and we just take three or four days to go be alone and, and just enjoy that that's what we do for christmas because we we don't need anything so experiences and time and memories and all that stuff is more important for us than stuff and and we i dude i, I did it up man and I did it right. I, I, I was damn. We were going to drive around and see some of that stuff. Because Vegas really isn't our, that's not really our scene. But the concert was in Las Vegas. And so we thought, hey, let's knock the Hoover Dam off. Let's knock, you know, we got to go do the damn tour and all that stuff. And I went to the damn store and I walked across the damn bridge. And so it was it was a blast. We had a great time. But I got to the airport and like my my rental car was not, like I reserved, I do er, weeks early. I don't do anything weeks early. And I reserved us a really cool car. I surprised my wife. I didn't tell her what we got. Like I wanted her to, I wanted us to have a nice convertible car that we could drive. It just could be a really nice, nice trip. Right. And we got there and there was no car. Like, 
And not I'm, your car, or just no, no. Car? Like they wanted to like put us in like a Malibu or something. And I'm like, hold on a minute now. And I'm talking about son. I went berserk. Now this was before a mask, so they could actually understand what I was saying. It was fantastic. <laughs> but I'm talking about I lost my religion on those people right there. <laughs> and my wife at one point like literally like grabbed me and like started like you know Coach Saban on on the sidelines when he's literally about to eat the ear off a ref. Like he looks like he's about to reach out and just and just Mike Tyson the referee right in front of him and just snatch that Evander Holyfield ear right off of him. And then Scott Cochran, well may he, may you know he's somewhere else now, but somebody will come up behind him and grab him by his belt and yank him back on the sideline like my wife was yanking at me to get me. I mean, I'm talking about I was full blown pit bull on this lady or man or whoever it was. And and just to be clear, just to find just to, to to, to clarify, we ended up getting um, a supercharged. Absolutely. It was fantastic. But I showed my tail, and I, and I didn't show Jesus in that moment. And, I, and look, I, was I right to be frustrated? Well, you're darn right I was. I reserved something. I paid for it. It was supposed to be there. That's what that's what Jesus model. So I get it. But in that situation, I was right. I, look, we were, we were boot scooting around, and it was a big time. But and, – and, and to show her ignorance, she went on and said – 50 not by my math uh like it just doesn't i don't know man it, it it's, it's almost like hating at dunkin donuts <laughs> i'm kidding but no it just it is a it's a sad state of affairs well she's married right and like her husband sees oh, the video later oh, her husband's pissed oh. he is pissed he's like good gracious good gracious karen i told this is uh, t- first of all cell phones are fantastic because we get to witness <laughs> so much stuff by the way did you guys see this uh this apology that had to happen we landed a Mars rover on the planet, and, and it didn't go up in a big ball of smoke. And two people in their absolute apologize for hugging, for for getting too close, oh, for getting within yeah. social social. Did you guys not see that? <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty cool. So they don't get the flu. Hmm. That's obnoxious. This is Boomer in the Beard. We're not going anywhere. You got us for another hour. It is one minute to the top of the hour, and we will be right back. FM Trinity Accumulus Station. It's seven o'clock. News starts now. From ABC News. I'm Brian Clark. After days in the dark, more people in Texas are getting their pals. Paul Aricio's story is one shared by thousands of people. The temperature in the house was 33 degrees, um, and now one has water. She was at a water distribution event in Houston. Over 7 million people in Texas remain under it. Now she wants a federal investigation into the failure of the state's power grid. It was a fault of man. This 100-year freeze, if you will, would come. Deputy sees Aaron Katursky. Winter storms have paralyzed travel, including deliveries of COVID-19 vaccine. In Massachusetts, Governor Charlie Baker will do this about going down to Kentucky and, and Tennessee, which is where this stuff is currently located, and bringing it back. Nearly all of New York's allocation was delayed. Vaccinations were postponed or canceled in 42 states because of the weather. Today, speak virtually at the Munich Security Conference and the G-19 vaccines. You're listening to ABC News. Have you ever wanted to learn a new language like French, Spanish, or Russian, but thought it would be too difficult in real life? It teaches you everyday practical conversations that you will actually use. In 15 minutes a day, you'll be on your way to speaking a new language in just a few weeks. Babbel uses a modern conversation-based technique that makes soon you're practicing short conversations about real-life topics. Babbel is created by language experts who use Babbel language for life celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold now try Babel for free to 64,000 several Capitol Hill police officers are suspended and even more are under investigation following the riots on January and trespassers to enter the Capitol without taking any action and all 35 Capitol police officers are under investigation six are suspended with pay but the MAGA hat weaver among the rioters so he could help rescue fellow officers in danger Five people died. More than 140 were injured in the January. Connection with the riot are now blaming police as part of their defense. They claim they thought it was okay to go into the Capitol because they were not stopped by cops. Messaging service WhatsApp confirming it will move forward with a controversial new outcry forced WhatsApp to delay the move until May. Company now promises to provide users with more information. 
And a gang of accused diamond thieves arrested near Paris, where police say they were responsible for stealing a purple diamond worth 18 million... Needle in a haystack, but not with ZipRecruiter. Its powerful technology actively finds and invites qualified candidates to apply to your job. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you the needle in the haystack. At ZipRecruiter.com slash work. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash work. Brian Clark, ABC News. Attention, nope. The secret is a visit to the Huntsville Men's Clinic. That's right. Men from 21 to 85 are performing better than before. Hour and a half of full male performance, all without surgery. You're to even if the pills haven't worked for you, or you have heart problems or prostate issues. If you have, that's 256-368-033, or go to HuntsvilleMensClinic.com. WVNN. It's live, it's local, it's the Dale Jack Hand on it. Talk 770 AM, 95 FM, WVNN, 5 AM to 7 AM. We are, we're taking you to the next, uh, next top of the hour here. It's seven minutes past seven and we are fired up, ready to go. If you have not yet, please make sure to go to boomerandbeard.com, spell out the word and boomerandbeard.com, spell out the word and.com to see him here. We've got Ronald, we've got Ty, we've got Jonah, we've got producer Connor, we've got bro Montana over anymore snow can't be white it's racist uh, snow is lightly colored and cold uh, cold is probably cultural appropriations for eskimos who knows but either way we are here we're fired up we're ready to go and we're going to kick this over heard in my entire life but we're going to take a shot at it either way the gates foundation is behind an everybody too but that's either here nor there <laughs> in math instruction by eliminating the need for students to show work and wholeheartedly concur that uh showing your work is racist and i am 110 percent behind the the effort to stop that silly practice uh high school so this true story bill and melinda gates foundation is the only donor listed on a website for a group dedicated to eliminating racism from the nation's math curriculum mm -hmm. where do you even start with this story like there's so many little <clears throat> little rabbit holes that you can kind of like that centers black latin x first of all what is Latin X? Uh, <clears throat> Latinx. Okay, so but Latin why do we honor? Is he for real? Yeah, Latinx. He is correct. Yes. yes. Oh and Latinos my. hate it. That's what our Latino brothers and sisters want to be. And I mean, I've seen the cars you drive. You very into Latin culture. So. Um, no <laughs> run. Uh, and multilingual students in grades six through eight. So I guess after eighth grade, it's no longer racist to make them show their work. But it addresses to use now as they plan their curriculum while also offering opportunities for ongoing self-reflection as they seek to develop an anti-racist. I agree with some of it other than the fact of I don't understand why it's racist. No, it's just stupid. Like, I mean, that's just the way that that's fine. It's probably because he's white. Well, probably. And there's there's a lot of other lists. Of, you didn't do this. You need to complete this, right? There is something to that I got it wrong, right? So there is something to this article about saying, you know, we need to try to be the, you know, quote, dismantling racism in mathematics instruction. Connor, this one's quote, focus on getting the right answer. Or justify, like the, this whole right answer thing. Like if it's a word problem and you, but you still come out with the same, do you need of getting the right answer? So we should, we should lower the ex. Poor kids are just as bright and just as thing I've ever heard. Again, I, we all are sitting here saying we don't disagree with the prefute had started too, and says in there that it's trying to do away with the individual. All work together to get the same answer. Yes, because by yourself you're not smart enough to get. I've never understood why showing your work or or dimming and add them to fifty skittles I had on my desk and come up nothing about that. That's racist. Eight. Six. Love to know. I agree with you in a lot of ways because it doesn't matter how you get to the, uh, on that. 
uh, common core crap and they started hating on it. I'm like, you know, I'm all, some part of me almost thinks too, as a kid, like I don't mind them working through a longer problem. But to me, the common core made it more complicated. It's like, well, we all, again, we always raised nothing some, common about that core, you, you know, and infiltrates math, math classrooms in everyday teacher actions. The lesson says coupled with the beliefs that in full access to the world of mathematics. Yeah. And why, why would it just bright and just as talented <laughs> white kids? I don't know. Joe Biden doesn't either. Math is as colored. Math doesn't have a color. I, I mean, for the love of God, it's not relative. That's what that's what's great about math. Very simple and straightforward. When you ask what color you are, I don't care if you wrote it in red ink, black ink, green ink, blue ink. You need to be able to not get the right answer and not focus on the right answer. It's just ignorant. It's just mm -hmm. denying that. But for someone that's so stinking smart, trying to be woke and cool and all this crap, and all they're doing is devaluing the education system, we'll be right back. Compassion Internet Storm. Good morning. I'm Pat Simon in the Way 31 Newsroom. While emergency crews continue to clean up debris causing, they stress to stay off the roads there unless it's absolutely is expected to give a vaccine update this morning. Alabama ex role in getting the Mars rover Perseverance to the red planet. It landed last July. The spacecraft also has Ingenuity on board, which is the first helicopter to fly. It's a new year, but for kids in poverty around the world, things are still desperate. 3393, that's give to 83... 92.5 FM, WVNN. The winter chill continues for North Alabama Friday. We'll continue to see... We'll see another refreeze tonight into your Saturday morning, but... Dale this morning you've got us all the way to the eight o'clock hour It's 18 minutes past seven o'clock and beer to check out you could get a deep discount on any and everything on the Giza dream sheets crazy comfortable Matt needs uh, is a gold standard for pillows uh, and if a pillow could have a, an affiliation with specials uh, use promo code beard at checkout so um, <clears throat> another story here today out of Indonesia now you guys are really going to get a kick out of this one Indonesian woman claims that that's my problem. Oh, got it. Uh, this is a true story. Indonesian police are investigating the bizarre case of a woman who claims that she became pregnant by a gust of wind. The woman identified as 25-year-old CD Zen. I knew a girl like this in college once. <laughs> And, and, the, and this is worth investigating. Investigating by the police is funny, also. She gave birth to a health That's called growth. That's called growth. Uh, the woman told local media she was in her living room, lying face down, when I said she began to experience pain in her stomach, which started to grow big very quickly. She was rusty pregnant. Must have been a dragon. It had to be something. I look. I, uh, it's a heck of a gust of wind. Uh -huh. Hmm. Conversation. <laughs> it's a it's a Twitter user called Abortion Chat, and they are a pro-abortion uh, user on Twitter. So you want to get everybody's two cents on this. Nothing is one hundred percent effective to. And the and the woman and not an effective means of birth control. I'm pretty sure that's only happened once in history. I mean, it's almost like, a, is that a proclamation of faith? Like, say, like, like towards the very control. That seems like it's a what? bit, uh, a bit off base. Yeah. When you told me that I was sent things out, <laughs> they probably all went to school with Miss South Carolina and the Peggy Karen lady at Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. No, I don't know what FLE is. Cause I don't think we call it oh, that here. Do we? No, I don't know. Family life. Education. Connor, what's, what's our like health class called here now? When, when do y'all take, uh, the family life education, like the, health. Where, health the class. birds and the where bees. you learn the problems in Virginia. Yeah. Well, <laughs> they taught me the only 100% effective method of birth control is to already. This is making a headline is mind boggling to me. Are they, I mean, are they serious with this? This is a true story. Like I'm not making this up. Like I, I wish, I wish I was, but yeah. Actual bankruptcy and a statement like this is astounding. We've gotten to the point now where we are literally going to get on the tweeter, the, the tweeter box, on the Facebook, on the Insta book, and and we're going to say something along the lines of: even if you don't have sex, even if there's no sexual contact whatsoever, you could you could still require an abortion. Like that is a that is all that. Uh, it, it just it's irritating to me that, that that we have devalued life so far that that we I don't I don't know I don't know what to do with this. Uh, the story in Indonesia is crazy, but it, it it's indicative of a much greater uh, trend. Right, the trend is that it's our our having to take complete and total accountability of what we've done. The woman's effective that you're doing everything. Right. Until so yeah, they call abstinence the the highest 
failing birth control. I mean, because so it's like the because, worst thing you can do is not have sex. Because well, they're too, saying I they're mean, saying it's the it's the it's, work. It's 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 not a, if you you know I, look. I, I had a baseball coach once that told me, "Son, flies have diseases. Keep your zipped up, right?" And so if you if you follow that advice, there is a zero percent chance that you will need an abortion. There's this, because it that's not how it works, folks. Uh, let, allow me to give you an FLE course, uh, a little crash course on that on the birds and the bees, and then the the process goes from there, right? Like there has to be a starting point. There are many people in this country who wish they could have children and can't be treatments and and therapies to to create the the scientific process so that they can have a child. And we're gonna sit here and act like we can you can do that without. It's just it is obnoxious to me. It's obnoxious to me. Like, it doesn't make any sense that, um, like, I think it would be foolish for you to not just at, at a minimum say, okay, if you don't do it, it won't happen. If you don't do it, it's impossible. Mm-hmm. There's no gust of wind powerful enough, right? Like you said, the problem, it, it is one time in recorded history, it was just, it was, oh, man. It's, it's just, it's, what is wrong with people? What is wrong with people? And this is a, we just got a message in and he, he said, this is, this is one of the best, what in the world is wrong with people's stories out there? Uh, he said, you make us feel more normal every single day. Uh, and, and, and our, that's not our goal, unfortunately, because, because the, the inverse of that is how crazy everybody else is every day. Right. I mean, it's Stan McDonald, a good friend over at Jacob title a sponsor of the Dale Jackson show. And, and he, he is, he, he is spot on in saying that f- the feminism issue, right? I mean, feminism in this country and, 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 and the, fact that, the fact that rape culture has become, has become mod or become the hashtag Me Too movement, right? Like they would call, that there's a lot of things that, that we as, as, as accountable people, that we would hold ourselves accountable, we would call a mistake mm-hmm. or we would call uh, consensual or we would call, you know, something like, that, that, that then could be turned in other ways and us be made to believe yeah. that that's... That was you see what I'm saying? There's a lot like, I'm of trying life. to I'm trying to skirt around it a little bit without just coming out and saying it, but but it's we we are now living in a world where you can you can go party and 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 be be partake. be promiscuous and partake and do all these things, and then the result of your behavior was somebody else's fault. Yep. And yeah, there's no personal responsibility. There's no personal no responsibility personal at all either. No, you know? and and to say that rape doesn't happen is foolish, right? Obviously, it happens. Like there are bad people in this world that do bad things, and in those situations, it is a terrible, terrible thing. Is abortion the answer? I would argue absolutely not. That's my personal position. That's my stance. But 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 we live in a world where you can literally live life laissez faire, hands off, just free and free as a bird, do whatever you want, and then the result of those actions is is not your fault. Mm-hmm. Well, well, you've got to own that. When, when, I, when, I, when I was a drunk and I would go get hammered drunk and I would drive my car, I got arrested. It happened two times. You know whose fault that was? It was the booze's fault. Well, there's also, it was the beer's fault. There's also no growth. I mean, there is no growth when you don't have personal responsibility and personal reflection. And, you know, I hate, I hate being this guy, but, you know, you fast forward that 10, 15 years and you, you and the leaders and then the, those people that don't have any personal reflection or personal responsibility grow up to be leaders, you know, and then we're in a situation where we're like, that's, that's not the right decision, you know, because they never had to make the right decision because they always had an opportunity to, you know, skirt around their personal responsibility by, you know, the, the actions that we put in place. One of the Athens PD officers just texted me and said, Hey, I've just put a bolo out for a gust of wind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just like, come on, are you kidding me? Like we literally live, first of all, we live in a world where that that's a, a and I get it's in Indonesia, but still it's an allowable story. One. And then two, the American media prints it. Yeah. They print it. And, and if you, if you don't think there's a reason behind them printing the things they print, you're foolish. You're foolish. Everything the American media does is agenda driven. And they are trying to dumb down culture. Un- they're trying to desensitize our sensitivities to these things and create a, f- a culture where you don't have to own your actions. Folks, let me tell you something. In this world, where we live, how we live today, what you do is all that you are. It's all that you are. Not what you say, what you profess with your mouth doesn't matter. It's what you live. 
It's what you you live. You always live what you believe. You don't always live what you profess with your mouth, but you always live what you believe. This is the Dale Jackson Show. I'm Zach Walker, the big, beautiful, bearded host, filling in for Dale this morning. We've got you until 8 o'clock. We'll be right back. Jackson. Sorry, he sent me the timestamp. This is News Talk 770 AM, 92.5 FM, WVNN. News starts now. Millions of people in Texas are getting their power back. The number of statewide outages has fallen below 190,000. But water supply remains a problem. About 7 million people in Texas still under a boil water advisory, while in Mississippi, almost all residents of Jackson don't have water. The winter weather's hampered coronavirus vaccine distribution. Appointments have been postponed or canceled in 42 states. Later today, President Biden will travel to a Pfizer facility in Michigan that's producing vaccines. ABC White House correspondent Mary Bruce says that's part of an eventful day. Before the president heads out today, he'll actually be taking his first steps virtually onto the international stage, participating in two key summits and trying to begin to reshape America's image abroad and shift U.S. policy dramatically in the wake of the Trump administration. We're told he'll be focusing on three key priorities, the pandemic, the economic crisis and climate change. And today, the U.S. officially rejoins the Paris Climate Agreement. Brian Clark, ABC News. News Talk 770 AM, 92.5 FM, WVNN. We know that for farmers, it all starts with planting. That's why here at Vantage South, we offer the tools you'll need to do the best job possible. When you pull the planter to the field, be it servicing your original planter meters on our test stand to minimize skips and improve singulation, or installing an entire precision planting system, including individual electric drive meters and automatic down pressure, we have a solution. Vent itself has been serving the Mid-South for over 10 years. We're your premier dealership for Trimble, Precision Planting, and Capstan Agriculture. We pride ourselves in having the best product services and support in the industry. To make sure your planter is field ready, call our North Alabama Vantage South office at 256-803-1610. That's 256-803-1610. Vantage South, your partner in Precision Agriculture. Attention men, have you ever been embarrassed when the time was right, but you just couldn't perform? Now you can. Have the pills failed you? There's hope. The secret is a visit to the Huntsville Men's Clinic. That's right. Men from 21 to 85 are performing better than before, often regardless of age or medical condition. Their urologists and providers are using treatments that can help you perform for 30 minutes to an hour and a half of full male performance, all without surgery. Your total cost for the doctor's visit. All tests, including a PSA and testosterone test, is only $99. Give them a call, even if the pills haven't worked for you or you have heart problems or prostate issues. If you have erectile dysfunction or just want to perform much better, call now. 256-368-0333. That's 256-368-0333. Get your confidence back. You have nothing to lose but everything to gain. 256-368-0333. Or go to HuntsvilleMensClinic.com. And sponsored by Open Jar Concepts. Attention, this is an important message for anyone that has been diagnosed with cancer after being exposed to Roundup or other weed killers. The Internal Agency for Research on Cancer warned that overexposure to Roundup and other weed killers may increase the risk of developing non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Monsanto, the manufacturer of Roundup, may have known that Roundup and other weed killers were likely linked to organ damage and cancer. This information was hidden from the public as proprietary trade secrets since 1981, and Monsanto may have failed to warn of the potential risk of cancer. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with cancer after being exposed to Roundup or other weed killers, you may be entitled to significant compensation. Call us now at 800-537-2701. Our network of attorneys are ready to fight for you. You'll pay nothing unless there's a recovery in your favor. Call now for a free consultation at 800-537-2701. You must protect your legal rights. Call 800-537-2701. Again, 800-537-2701. News Talk 770 AM, 92.5 FM, WVNN. Welcome back to the Dale Jackson Show. I am Zach Walker, the big, beautiful, bearded host of Boomer and the Beard every single day, 5 AM to 7 AM right here. Be sure to go to boomerandbeard.com. That's boomerandbeard. Spell out the word and it is 
Five minutes past the bottom of the hour. We're carrying you all the way to 8 o'clock uh, this morning. We're so thankful you've chosen to join us. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast. Pod, podcast. Wow. podcast. That's the podcast for those of you that fish. We also have a podcast for those of you that listen to those. So be sure to go to boomerandbeard.com. Subscribe to the podcast. That is our main focus right now as we continue to be the fastest growing talk radio show uh, in the Southeast. We're so thankful to have you this morning. Uh, we've got we've got Ronald. We've got Jonah. We've got Ty. We've got producer Connor and Bro Montana over on Master Controls. We're just blazing our way through this show this morning, this Friday morning edition. We've made it through Snowpocalypse, Ice Apocalypse and Corona Apocalypse 2021. Uh, speaking of coronavirus, why won't Dr. Fauci, the high priest of health, speak up again about Governor Cuomo's ongoing nursing home scandal? For those of you that are uh, live on that are living under a rock, basically. Uh, the administration there in New York came out last week and said, "Yep, we hit a we hid data from the department uh, from the from the State Department because we didn't want to be held accountable for murdering these people by sending them to uh, a place uh, where they were going to die from coronavirus." And 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 you would think Dr. Anthony Fauci, the high priest of health, would be the first one to speak out as he has so adamantly against President Trump and other conservatives uh, about their poor management. But instead, we actually have given Chris Cuomo a. a, a, a medal a prize of sorts right like we came out and we we decided he he was worthy of an oscar for his acting apparently because and a book deal and a book deal yeah for his great leadership right because great leadership is something he does so well and so here we are um here we are joe biden safely inaugurated we've got the greatest election fraud ever perpetrated against mankind behind us and anthony fauci uh is still finding his opportunities to troll on his old boss uh, he said, quote, the idea that you can get up here and let the science speak, it is somewhat of a liberating feeling, right? So now he's saying, okay, we, the, we've got the science denier out of the way. Now we've got somebody in office who can't remember his own name, so science is easy to work with because he can just read off a paper. He's like Ron Bergen. He just reads a teleprompter. Uh, he just Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. You're trying your best. But it never feels like enough. Uh, there he is. So we've got that's what we've got in office. And, and, and now we, we want to take this opportunity to troll uh, Donald Trump by saying the idea you can get up in here and let the science, science speak, it's liberating. Great. Awesome. Liberated uh, is not how Fauci seemed when he was asked to comment about Governor Cuomo's increasingly obvious culpability in sentencing thousands of nursing home and long-term care residents to their deaths during the COVID-19 crisis and then repeatedly lying about it. Cuomo said Melissa DeRosa finally flat out admitted to state lawmakers this month, almost a year after Cuomo's mistakes needlessly began to fill body bags, that data on the number of deaths in such facility was purposely underreported by more than 6,000 people in order to mitigate fallout from the press. Dr. Fauci, Mr. High Priest of Health, it's your turn. Speak up. Be liberated by the science. I can't, Fauci said. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm really, I'm honestly not trying to evade your question, but I'm not really sure of all the deaths and details of that. Uh, and it, I think if I make a statement, it probably could be either incorrect or taken out of context. Wait but, a minute! But they can blame all the deaths Wait on Trump. Wait a minute! You haven't known what you've been saying for nine freaking months, and you've been getting up there, squirting hot air everywhere, all that, changing. I mean, you worse than John Kerry, the amount of times you flip-flop. And now, all of a sudden, you can't speak on something because you don't have the facts? Well, you should have shut up nine months ago. This is unbelievable. He never said that. Uh, isn't the New York Republican legislation putting together articles of, yes, of impeachment or something like that They're, for him, Cuomo yeah. also? So. Well, it come, to me, it comes down uh. to, to the question of it. So, again, they blamed Trump for more deaths than needed to happen. So they can blame Cuomo for this. So it's it, it's just a matter of going both ways and not being hypocritical when they do it. To, to paraphrase the great philosopher Inigo Montoya, I don't think... And he, uh, I don't think liberate means what Fauci thinks it means. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, man. This guy's up to his eyeballs in funding 
from Wuhan, China itself, the birthplace of COVID-19, and he can get away with saying he doesn't have a clue what is going on in his own home state. It is unbelievable. 866-494-9866. If you would like to join us, we'd love to have you on the Bullet and Barrel Shot Line. 866-494-9866. Among Cuomo's defenses for his state's nursing home disaster uh, in 2020 was that he was merely following federal guidelines. Now, how could a guy like Cuomo, who seems aggressively prone to doing whatever the heck he wants whenever he wants to do it suddenly feel it would be a compelling narrative to play the victim card ooh, 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 ask me ask me let me answer because that's what liberals do that's what they do that's what they do they play the victim card and for years for four years we listen to this crap about they're the victim of the orange man bad or trump mean trump mean orange man bad orange man bad we will make America great again. We miss that leadership in this country right now. Let me tell you something, Dr. Fauci. The fact that you have uh, the fact that you have survived seven different administrations, that makes you a freaking weasel. Is what that makes you. There is no politician in the world or anybody in a, in office uh, up there with politicians that survives that many different people. Uh, Do- Dr. With- Fauci is one thing I wish Trump if I could go back and say do something different, pick somebody else. I mean, I didn't even know who I, I never ever heard of him until this came around, and then realizing his background and yep. how, you know it's like you can't drain the swamp by choosing people like that. Sure, let's, there's other people. Well, let's look at some of Fauci's some of Fauci's decisions and moves as we've moved throughout the pandemic. Okay, in July he insisted New York did it correctly. So for those of you that lost loved ones uh, to Cuomo's genocide, if you will, I mean, if he forced people into a, a death situation, I don't know what, what – I mean, they want to they compare Donald Trump to, to a Nazi all the time. I, I don't see him forcing old people into a concentration camp where they're going to die of, a, of an illness. I, don't, I didn't see any of that. I, I didn't see any of that. But in that context, uh, Anthony Fauci said Cuomo did the right thing. He did it correctly. It was such a successful endorsement by Fauci in the eyes of though uh, those who have who, who are have that cult like following that Co- Cuomo and Fauci were invited by the press to ham it up together and appoint themselves the modern day De Niro and Pacino of virus fighters. I forgot about that. <laughs> Oh, man, this is unbelievable. Back in May, Governor Cuomo's brother, CNN host Chris Cuomo, received daily phone calls from Fauci after he supposedly contracted COVID-19. By the way, by the way, did you guys see that freaking crap show? I almost said something I should have. I'm fired up right now. I almost said something I didn't want to say. That that was some of the best acting. I mean, look, Vin Diesel can't act as well as Cuomo was doing. I mean, I've got coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> Coming out of the I've basement. Got, yeah, uh. I've come up out of the basement. And, uh, like, are you kidding? This is a freaking joke. The f- Folks, the election is over, and we cannot change it. And for that, I greatly apologize. I wish I could have done something about it, and I didn't. The, the reality is the liberals played the card. They, they played the hand they were dealt better than we did. They saw something. When they saw the coronavirus, they said, this is our opportunity to change the way we vote, thus influencing the election. Was there enough fraud to change the election? You know my thoughts on that. I'm not a conspiracy guy, but I can tell you this. The election's over. We can't change it. So I've moved on. I've accepted where we're at, and this is what we have to look forward to. For those of you that voted that voted for Biden, that voted on that side of the fence, you, let, you made this bed, and now we're all lying in it. We're all laying here together. And the only way out of this is two years from now, we're going to have another, we're going to have a midterm. And I think what we're going to see is a red wave. The red wave we expected to see this time, we're about to see it because this, those suburban housewives that were the key dem, uh, demographic that, that swayed the election the other way, they can't stand a bully. They also can't stand watching their parents be forced into concentration camps where they're murdered by, by Governor New York. So realistically, do you think Cuomo's going to get in any trouble or have any repercussions? I, Lord, I hope so. Do you think any of this comes down to the personal responsibility thing we were talking about in the last segment? Well, like, yes, just not. Well, but two, two ways, not being able to take personal responsibility, but also not being able to be personally responsible because you will get f- murdered. And when the real numbers the came out, they practically blamed it on Trump. Like, oh, oh, well, it, it's you know. all Trump's fault. Well, that's the thing is they blame Trump, but they don't blame Cuomo. You can't you can't have it both ways. Well, but they can and they have and they will and they will continue yeah. to do so because no one there's not an American amongst us with with the cojones to stand up and redress our government with the way we were constitutionally given to do it. That's the key. The key is this. If you're listening to this right now and you're as mad as I am, because obviously I'm fired up about this. The reality is this. We are given a constitutional right. Like the, the very foundation of this country gives us the right and the ability to redress our government. We do so with our votes. 
votes. We step up and we vote, and that's how we change the elected officials. That's what we do to make a difference. Our only choice now is to stand up and do something. Get involved. Qu hey, I tell you what, if you're listening to the show driving down the road, yeah, amen, and a woman, right? And you're all fired up and you're just on a roll with me, but you've not been involved in a local election since the day you turned 18, you're the problem. You're the problem. You want to get all fired up about Donald Trump and Joe Biden, but you couldn't give two rips about what's going on around you. You don't care about the city council. You don't care about the governor. School you don't board. care about the school board. You don't care about none of that. And I can tell you the only election that matters to you, that should matter to you, is the one that affects your day-to-day -day life, and that is where you live. So shut up, quit complaining, and get involved. Or don't complain at all. But you can't have it both ways. This is the Dale Jackson Show, and we will be right back. You're listening to the Dale Jackson Show. News Talk 770 AM, 925 FM, WVNN. Clean up after the winter storm. Good morning. I'm Pat Simon in the Way 31 Newsroom. While emergency crews continue to clean up debris caused by this week's winter storm, officials in Colbert, Franklin, and Lauderdale counties are still worried about driving conditions this morning. They stress to stay off the roads there unless it's absolutely necessary. We know the winter weather has had a serious impact on COVID vaccinations. State Health Officer Dr. Scott Harris is expected to give a vaccine update this morning. Alabama expects to receive nearly 100,000 doses next week, an increase from previous weeks. Alabama played a big role in getting the Mars rover Perseverance to the Red Planet. It landed safely yesterday afternoon. The Atlas V rocket made at ULA in Decatur launched the Perseverance mission last July. The spacecraft also has Ingenuity on board, which is the first helicopter to fly on another planet. That helicopter, by the way, was actually named by an Alabama student. Pat Simon, Way 31 News. Here's your weather update from the Way 31 Storm Tracker Weather Center on News Talk 770 AM, 925 FM, WVNN. A frigid Friday for North Alabama and for areas closer to and west of I-65, we continue to see quite a bit of ice and snow on the roads. Highs only manage the mid-30s, and with the gusty winds, it'll feel much colder than that this afternoon. But mostly sunny skies will help to thaw and melt some of that snow and ice, and then another refreeze tonight. From the Way 31 Storm Tracker Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Rob Elvington. minutes to the top of the hour. I am filling in for Dale Jackson this morning. If you haven't yet, go to MyPillow.com slash radio specials. Use promo code BEARD at checkout to get a deep discount on any and everything on their website, whether it's Giza Dream Sheets, a mattress topper, or that patented interlocking fill that adjusts to your body sleep needs. You can get a heck of a deal by using promo code BEARD. You're welcome. Uh, if you don't sleep on a MyPillow, you probably voted for Biden. So I'm kidding. Totally kidding. Uh, in other news, uh, let's go out to Seattle, where, where, where clearly... Um, chaos reigns supreme so you'll all remember the chop chaz the choppy chaz the chazzy chop whatever it's called basically when uh there was an insurrection the only insurrection that's actually happened in the last six months happened in in seattle uh but no i mean i wonder we if they'll talk about that. i wonder if they'll impeach these people over it probably not uh, maybe they'll censure them bad bad homeless people Bad homeless people. Uh, but there's a story that, that has come out of this that is unbelievable that I, I, I'm having a hard time wrapping my mind around. The city of Seattle will pay a homeless woman $10,000 as part of their settlement for, for tearing down her tent camp. <laughs> when... They, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When they cleared out a large homeless encampment in December. What are they going to do with the rest of the homeless people line up? Uh, Seattle called I'm sorry, not homeless, <laughs> unhoused people. Homeless is it's cultural appropriations, racism, and uh, and unwokeness all tied into one. But uh, all the unhoused gonna line up. Now. Ada Yeager said she had been living at the homeless encampment at Cal Anderson Park. Mind you, this is a public park. Cal Anderson Park since last June before the city gave them notice to move out ahead of a sweep. So, mind you, the city gave them a notice. They said, "Hey guys, you need to move out because we're gonna come." 
take you out. Now, I, hear, I, w- I wish an attorney would call in, 866-494-9866. If you're an attorney and you can help me understand this, I would love to hear from you. But uh, some lawyer decided to actually take this on and file a lawsuit against Seattle claiming her constitutional rights were violated and the clearing of the encampment constituted warrantless search and seizure of her private property. She was on a public park. She was at a public park park living in a what did you say unhomed unhoused sorry unhoused tent and and searching it violated her for what kind of constitutional rights do i have on a on a on a i tell you what i'm gonna go up here to trash panda stadium and i am going to put a tent on on second base and i'm gonna sleep there and when they evict me i'm gonna sue them like what well, it says in here, too, apparently this is, it wasn't just an all-of-a-sudden thing. It said through mid from mid-December on that they had uh, 24 arrests for various charges, including felony harassment, trespassing, failure to disperse, and resisting or obstructing arrest. So they, it seems like they've been, they were asked multiple times in various levels to leave, and then they finally didn't. So the city stepped in and said, okay, well, if you're not going to do it on your own, then we're going to do it for you. Yeah, well, and, and it says here that, uh, that, that, that the mayor came out and said, I think that the, the settlement was based totally on the nuisance value of the lawsuit uh, and, and, and not reflecting anything on the merits of the actual claim, which is accurate. But this is, I mean, this is obnoxious. Hayden, what, what do we got to do, buddy? Yeah, we got to run to a break. Okay, break. we're going to go to a quick break. We'll be right back. Or or we not. We're not going to go to a break. Maybe we're going to a break. I've got no idea what's going on right now. Minutes still matter when it comes to medical emergencies. In some cases, fast care can be life-saving, especially for heart attacks and strokes. So don't delay or be afraid to get help if you need it. Crestwood Medical Center is safe and ready to care for you with limited entry points, screening for everyone, deep cleaning, and social distancing. We're taking extra precautions to help keep you safe. Don't put off emergency care. Visit ERCareCrestwood.com or call 911 in an emergency. Hey folks, Dale Jackson here for my friends at Matt Curtis Real Estate. Now Matt Curtis has a new program for you. It's called Fix to Sell, where they make the updates you need to make to your home before you need to sell it. So how's it work? Step one, schedule a fix to sell consultation. Step two, Matt Curtis Real Estate makes the repairs at no out-of-pocket expense to you. Step three, Matt Curtis sells your home. So to schedule a new fix to sell consultation, call Matt Curtis today, 256-333-MOVE, or check them out online at mattcurtisrealestate.com. It's Sponsored by Open Jar Concepts. Attention, this is an important message for anyone that has been diagnosed with cancer after being exposed to Roundup or other weed killers. The Internal Agency for Research on Cancer warned that overexposure to Roundup and other weed killers may increase the risk of developing non Hodgkin's lymphoma. Monsanto, the manufacturer of Roundup, may have known that Roundup and other weed killers were likely linked to organ damage and cancer. This information was hidden from the public as proprietary trade secrets since 1981, and Monsanto may have failed to warn of the potential risk of cancer. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with cancer after being exposed to Roundup or other weed killers, you may be entitled to significant compensation. Call us now at 800-537-2701. Our network of attorneys are ready to fight for you. You'll pay nothing unless there's a recovery in your favor. Call now for a free consultation at 800-537-2701. You must protect your legal rights. Call 800-537-2701. Again, 800-537-2701. Where Alabama talks, WVNN, depend on it. Welcome back to the Dale Jackson Show. I am Zach Walker, the big, beautiful, bearded host of Boomer and the Beard every single day right here, 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. Uh, we are filling in for Dale this morning. Uh, be sure, if you want to join us, 866-494-9866, 866-494-WVNN, Bullet and Barrel Shot Line. We've got Gary on line one. Uh, let's go talk to Gary and see what he's got for us. Gary, what do you got, buddy? Gary, are you there? No, Gary. No, Gary. Excellent. Uh, we lost Gary, but we so we we're talking about this ten thousand dollars settlement uh, in 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 Seattle, and and what we've got here. Let me just let me just uh, let me just break this down for you. I, I look, I'm not a smart man. I, I just play one on the radio, but I'm smart enough to tell you this. This has been uh, th- this is this is the entitlement of the left 
Uh, and entitlement of I mean entitlement isn't isn't a uh, isn't exclusive to the left. Don't 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 get me wrong. There are plenty of rich white Republican kids that are plenty entitled. Uh, that's not that's not a trait that's exclusive to liberal kids or liberal people in general. But what we've got here is uh, is somebody that that is owed nothing that sees an opportunity uh, opportunity opportunity english is hard an opportunity to gain something to 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 add something to their life that they don't deserve that is opportunistic and 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 smart enough to take it and you were you're right you said in the break and and maybe maybe uh, gary was going to tell us this before we lost him but uh, we asked if an attorney would call in you said i bet the attorney approached the the unhomed unhoused unhoused person and said hey man i think we can win some i think we can get them to give us 10 grand just to right. go away we'll split the profit and you may very well be right but i can assure you something my great grandmama would have whooped my ass excuse my language but she would have whooped me if i would have if i would have taken it upon myself to to try to steal ten thousand dollars from the city of seattle because i i literally went into their park i put my tent up i camped on their property and then when they asked me to leave their property i sued them like this is this is the most unbelievable thing I've. I mean, ooh, the fact and, and look, Seattle, you don't have a freaking you don't have you don't have a backbone whatsoever. We we've seen that. We watched you abandon an entire police precinct. We watched you walk away from it and say y'all can have it. So we don't expect any better from you. Okay, we don't. But this is unbelievable. You you cave. You give them ten grand just so you don't have to deal with a lawsuit. I I'll, I'll see you in court, dog. Oh, there are probably more of that too. Oh, no you know, question once everybody about else it. Feels out, hears about it. They're going to line up class action. I mean, I'll see you in court. I will see you in court. I just don't. I just don't understand. I'm sorry. It, it's just really frustrating uh, to me that we're 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 at the point where now, when you tear down a homeless encampment in your city, you're you're violating the rights of people. Like so, another article on that. The uh, attorney filed the lawsuit against the city because they had planned to do the sweep saying that the sweep could violate the civil rights due to lack of due process, uh, went through the courts, and the judge declined it, saying that the, uh, the occupation was escalating with, with further protests, uh, and then came back and saying that there were, uh, obviously the trash, but they were also starting fires and just creating destroying a, property a commotion and stuff like that. So they Public were trying property. to clear. So it wasn't even something that was just like out of the blue. It was, it was, they went, they brought the fight to court and then they're like, no, we can't do this because like I said, city, city public property. And it's an endangerment area for the citizens that want to use that property. Uh, yeah. I just don't, uh, I just don't, uh, I just don't understand. Uh, I just have a backbone for the love of all that's good and holy. Just, just grow, just grow a pair. Like, I, folk, uh, listen, and I'm going to end with this. It's my Friday rant, right? Like, so we need a society with with a backbone. And what we've lost in society is men that know how to act like men and stand up and defend what is theirs, defend what is right. We we are so scared of toxic masculinity and misogyny, words that are just, they're really just created. They're just made up. They're just out of thin air. They're literally brought out of thin air. We need men back in this country. We need good, godly leadership that knows how to come in and, and, and pick the, look, you don't have to pick every fight. I've learned that. I used to fight every single fight. And you know what? You, 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 you're you exhausted. You run out of time. You run out of energy. But you've got to pick the fights that matter. There are some hills worth dying on because you set precedent. And what you've done here is you've told the unhomed or unhoused of Seattle that, that, that they, can, they can come in, they can commandeer your public spaces, they can put their camps up, and then you'll pay them to leave. That's what you've told them. You literally come in, set up your tent, and I will pay you $10,000 to move it. And that is a cowardly position. You are totally and completely in the right. You're in the right. It's your property. Just like if someone camped in your backyard, if someone rolled up and threw up a tent in your backyard, would you pay them to leave? No, you'd run them off your property with, with whatever you had at your disposal. I'd walk out there looking like somebody roaming the streets of Fallujah, and I promise you, they'd bounce. They would not want to be there. And, and it's just amazing. Maybe, and maybe this is not the time to bring it up, but there's also there's also a balancing act of that with compassion too. You know, you want to be. I mean, I want to be a man of God. 
you know, I want to, I want to pick my battles, but there is a compassion act. No, there is. And you have to have some of that. And I get it, but you also have to be willing to draw a line. I mean, I, th- look, there's a, there's a wall around heaven and there's going to be a standard to enter. And so yep. you, you, there's compassion certainly. And we are called to give that, but we also are called to stand up for what's right. So Ronald Gulick joining us all week from Northern Virginia. It's been an absolute pleasure, Thank my you, friend. Sir. It's the Friday edition. We've got Jonah. We've got Ty. We got producer Connor. We've got, Bro, Montana over at Master Controls. We love you guys so much. Dale, thank you for allowing us to fill in this morning. Uh, we love you guys so much. Have a great weekend. You know there's a weekend between now and I see, now and the next time I see you, and that makes me very concerned. Have a wonderful weekend. <laughs>